Hmm. Okay. Let me try and figure out why there's no music. Do, 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 do. I'm here, but yeah, I'm, I'm hearing nothing. There ain't nothing, 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 nothing. I'm hearing it, but it's not going through. You can hear me, but you can't hear the music. No music, no music, no music, no music. Right. Wait, let me just try and... What about, what about this? Do you hear this? This Amori sounds? Amori sounds? Anything? Can you hear this? Can you hear this? No. Oh my god, what's going on? Um, let's see, let's see. Hmm, maybe I've like messed up some setting or something. Uh, you can hear my mic. That's good. Ew, this is bad. Mm. That's so weird. Okay, let me just close and open stuff again. Hold on, I'll be back, I'll be back. Wait, 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 wait. Testing, 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 testing. Music, 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 music. How about now? How about now? You hear me? Testing, is there any music? Is there any music? Please, please. Yes? Yes? I'm seeing yes. Music. Okay, thank fuck for that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was just uh, turn it off and turn it back on again. Okay, I'm going to sit in front of this mic and say nothing now.
going. I can see you are not far away Anytime, any place, I can see your face You are that special one that I've been waiting for And I hope you're looking for someone like me In my dreams, I can hear you calling me In the night, everything's so sweet in your eyes there's so much inside Come on everybody, let's go! In the night, dream delight I want to see you standing there In the night, dream delight I found someone who really cares In the night, just in the night now Dream delight I want to see you standing there In the night, dream delight You are the one I've waited for Good morning everybody! Oh my god, thank you, thank you so much! No, please, please, everyone, shut up! Welcome to Bowen Plays Amori Gee, thanks for sticking through the troubles. I just had to add a little um, karaoke at the end. Today, <laughs> today is our dream special. It's all about dreams. And uh, that song that I sang on karaoke was from Dream Dreams, Night. No, it's called Dream Dreams and it's from a game called Nights, right? You know, the, the thing like this. It's purple and it goes like that. Um, but yeah, I just thought I should do that for you guys. Um, now, we have eight dreams. I had like over 150 dreams sent in. Um, but I chose eight special dreams that have significant meaning. Um, do you want me to go into a dream now or start playing? What do you vote? Dream or game? Dream or game? Whatever I see in the chat, I'll do it. Dream, dream, I'm seeing dream. Dream now. Dream, 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 dream. Okay, okay, let's do a dream. So, we're gonna have to transport ourselves over to the dream world. Okay, okay, so this took a little bit of um, putting together. Now, all of the dreams are anonymous and um, the way that I interpret dreams is that Basically, I see every character or personal thing in the dream as a different part of yourself. Um, that's like the primary way that I'm going to be reading these dreams. Uh, so let's go to dream number one. Let me read it to you guys. 
see what you guys think. Oh, it's not that. It's this. It's dream one. Here we go. So this one says, I had a dream of me and a few others, a few other people being testing workers, I think in a dream world of sorts, or at least one that was different than ours. It was always an off white with tints of greens and yellows to color anything in if needed. Everybody had a, um, everybody had a power of sorts. And while I don't remember everybody else's, uh, mine was to stretch infinitely. During one of our expeditions into some sort of trash jumbled arena filled with piles and spikes of painty, bubbly, plasticky nonsense, there was a random, reasons for, a random reason for us to all get back, planted back to home base, which was a huge empty room with a picnic blanket with an item on it that I don't remember. I think it was a flower. This time I was alone and I had the idea of instead going back Instead of going back, I was going to stretch up into a black hole. A black hole that had been up in the sky the whole duration of our adventure. When I tried this, I had just barely peeked my head into the space area until getting bugged out and confronted with someone I assume was the admin or the host. Either way, he told me that there is a reason I don't let you up into the space. Um, uh name i already forgot has always tried so that already tried so that's someone else um as he said that though i start fighting him for some reason i don't remember if the nameless guy joins me yet or afterwards but either way we kill the admin and then the nameless guy who had a big green coat with a shaded over black pit as a head that had just had a dangling ender pearl but hd where it would have been and a thin shepherd's staff, says some mini monologue. But I don't remember that because he... I don't remember the mini monologue, but that causes me to realize he was a bad guy. But before I could probably fight and stop him, he stabs me. It fades to a dark green and I woke up. So what, what is everyone thinking about this dream? We've got the ender pearl. We have the black pit. We've got the shepherd's staff. We also have this admin. We've got the black hole. It's protected by the admin. Um, and this person is like stretching infinitely. Um, and it's like, so the dream starts, they're saying that um, they're these testing workers. So what's a testing worker? I'm seeing this as like uh, reality testing. You guys know what reality testing is. It's a Freud's idea. Um, which is basically about testing your internal reality against the reality out there. Um, and I think that that's what this whole dream is about. Um, all of the people with different powers. I, if you see it as like a family, let's say it's like a family, and this is one of the children, and all of the kids have to have these different powers, and they're all testing what are the limits of... Um, you guys are just focused on the Minecraft. It's more than the Minecraft. Um, so I'm, I'm concerned that this person is stretching infinitely because um, I'm thinking that this person does not have enough time for themselves and is kind of um, fixing everyone else's problems, is stretching themselves too thin. And that became their power. That was what they had to do in their family to survive. But I think they're being given an, an opportunity to see what is beyond this like little small world that they've lived in this this trash jumble world which doesn't give you like a good idea of um doesn't give you a good idea of what their setting is that they're going in and trying to sort out this confusing trash so i'm gonna think that the black hole that they peek into is basically the host's depression whether that's a parent whether that's someone else it's, it's somebody's depression it's someone's dark feelings it's someone's unconscious um and what we're doing, what what the dreamer is doing, is is daring in this dream to go beyond that and 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 speak the unspeakable, see the thing that shouldn't be seen. Um, now the admin says, "There's a reason I don't let you up in here." The admin, maybe a parent, something doesn't want you to see their trauma, doesn't want you to 
see what's going on. Maybe they're trying to hide your uh, hide their depression from you. Um, but what what's really coming across in the last paragraph is that there's um, there's basically almost like this Cain and Abel battle uh, where they defeat the parents and then they well in Cain and Abel they don't do that. But the fact that the person who the streamer is fighting has a shepherd's staff is definitely making me think of um, Abel, hence the image. Um, the ender pearl, well, I want to talk about the ender pearl. What is an ender pearl? An ender pearl is something that you get after you've traveled to the depths of uh, the darkness in Minecraft and you, um, you can use it to travel, right? You throw down your ender pearl and it, it's some kind of reward for having gone into the darkness. Um, I think what's yeah yeah it, it's interesting to me that the the enemy that, that the dreamer is fighting oh no maybe i don't know what an ender pearl is that's an eye of ender the somebody says the ender pearl represents homoerotic feelings i'm not sure but um this person is fighting someone who has gone up into the black hole has found out a, let, let's let's just give it a real life situation has gone and found their parent crying distraught has seen their weakness has seen their vulnerability and maybe they've been able to digest that instead of hiding away from the black hole and now that black pit becomes their head and there is the fight between the there's there's the you that doesn't know about the black pearl and there's the you who you're fighting who has taken that on in their head and in the end the you that has um the you that has taken the black pit earned the ender pearl and has the shepherd's staff, has won, has defeated you, and the dream you maybe had to die for this you who could digest the depression around you and move on with your life. So I'm going to say that this is one dream solved. Do case closed. <laughs> All right, so that's the first dream. That's what I think about that. All right, what's everyone thinking? Did I get it right? I'm going to go into the game. load let's go to last resort that's where we were before right yep damn busted okay we are playing Omori again remember when we got here in this kind of underwater blah 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 well now remember that I'm not going to buy things off these uh, crocodile people because they rip me off. Oh no, these moon people, these are people who rip me off. Though I would like a photo here. Someone take a screenshot. Let's see if this guy will take a photo of me. Oops. Hey you. Yes, you there with the stoic expression. Do you want to pose at this very unique and handcrafted cardboard cutout? Don't, no, I'm not paying for that. We can just screenshot it. We've already got the screenshot. Okay. This is my first playthrough, yep. Hello, Charlene. Hey, no splashing in the pool, okay? Mm, let's splash in the pool. Going in. Huh. Ghost party. Okay. No, 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 no. Why did I go back in there? I guess I just didn't want to go to the ghost party. All right, let's go in again. It was cool music. I'm still taking dreams. Maybe I'll do this next week as well, because it was fun. And I only picked eight dreams from about like 150. So there's a lot left. 
Let's see the ghost party. Hello, ghost. Top Hat Ghost says, My goodness, what impeccable timing. I seem to have found myself in quite the predicament. I've sent letters to a number of acquaintances asking them to attend this elegant feast of mine. But, as of this moment, not a single invitee has made an appearance. Not one. This is preposterous. A lesser ghost would be enraged, but my finer senses tell me that they may have simply become lost on the way here. You see... When I sent out my invitations, I had forgotten to include directions to the venue. Being a true gentleman and host, I refuse to, uh, being a true gentleman and, no, not that one, wait, where is it? And, and host. Okay, I'm the real host around here. I don't know what he's talking about. Okay, being, I refuse to start this party until all of my guests have arrived. Would you be so kind as to help my guests find their way here? Yes. Thank you, good sir. Here are some maps with directions to my party, stamped with my own personal top hat, seal of approval. This guy strikes me as like one of those American people that constantly puts on like a British accent and says, thank you, good sir. I don't think he's actually British. You got six spooky maps. Please deliver these maps to each of my guests. They will then find their way here on their own, surely. Like, if, if that ghost wasn't a ghost, he'd be a neckbeard. But you, you can't see, because he's a ghost. Now let's see. Welcome to Black Space. That has an O, I'm gonna get the O. Have you guys seen these Bowen mugs? This is unofficial, never to be released personal merch that you have to um, break into my house and steal. Oh, should I go in the hole? Why not? I like holes. You creepy. Is it black space or blank space? I'm not sure. But considering it's welcome to white space, right? That's why I, I, I think it's going to be... Oh, I love Jash. Party Jash. I am Jash of many talents and master of many trades. How can I help you today? Let's buy something with Party Jash. Dandelion. No. Blanks. <laughs> so people are saying Taylor Swift. Blank space. And I'll write your name. Uh, I don't think any of this is really worth my money. Maybe this inflicts happiness on all friends with people. Present, it's not what you want to inflict. And uh, I don't know. I'm gonna get a poetry book. All right. Look at all of this food. What have you guys been eating? I had rice with, uh, it was like a Thai curry, which I always order every stream. Write it down in the chat. What have you eaten? I know loads of you have just uh, woken up. This is a dinner check. Sausage, rice and pizza, cauliflower, tea, barbecue chicken sandwich, uh, green curry, uh, Starbucks coffee, pizza, tomato and mushroom soup, Oreo milkshake, hot pocket, honeyed cashew, brisket, pizza, stroganoff, vegan chicken, Coke, tortilla, Cookies, steak, popsicle, french fries, soup, stroganoff, brisket. Uh, let's keep going with the party. So where are these bloody ghosts? Ghosts, where are you? Should I just spam Z? Ghost, ghost. Ghost, come to me. Now this is a spoiler for one of the dreams, but if um, Lu Luigi was here, he might be doing a bit of hoovering up with all these ghosts around here. That's just a little, that's a little teaser. Yeah, where are they? Where the heck are these ghosts? Uh, ghosts? I need the sixth sense. Sixth sense. I need to be Luigi. 
I need Luigi. Oh. How? Oh, what about these O's? Oh. One of these O's has got to be a hat. I'm not seeing any hats. Oh. 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 Oh, the ghosts aren't here. I see. They're in the whole world. All right, well, I'll eat this and go. Let's have some pickles. Thanks, ghost party. This was cool music. I thought those O's were hats. Someone says, would you play Undertale on stream someday? Maybe. I do like it. I played it before, but I didn't finish it. Let's get out of here. And I am Lego Sans. Uh, so we had to go to this hotel where everyone got jobs and we're going to free them because the boss is really cool or something. You submit dreams to my email address, which is bowenstream at gmail.com. Okay, let's see what we can buy. I want to play Minecraft after this, but I also will probably take a break. Rotten milk, no. Fish taco. That looks good. Let's get one of those. Fries. Let's get one of those too. Peach soda. I've already got some of those. I've got enough life jam. Life, life jam? Yeah, life jam, not life juice. Okay, what about this? I can change the music, can I? No, I'm just turning it on and off. Well, let's go into the ship. Once I went to France when I was a um, young man with my family and we went to this kind of like pirate ship cafe type place and my brother bought a sword because I think swords are legal in France maybe can anyone confirm that has anyone also been to a pirate ship themed cafe and they do like a kind of pirate show and you uh, get the uh, you can just buy swords there I think it was in Paris somewhere in France Oh, fighting. Why do you fight me? Gator guy. Aren't you tired of getting thrown out, kid? Alright, well, let's, let's destroy Gator guy. I'm going to hack away. And then I'm going to go forward. Let's see how much damage this does. Pew, pew, pew. 49. Gator guy is happy now. So that means if I'm... Oh, it's... that is OP. I think I can handle these guys. I am using up the juice. Oh! Kel is playing slots. Kel won 53 for the three clan. Okay, let's just do normal attacks. Run away. So we're doing uh, dreams every half an hour. So starting at 10. We'll do the next one at 10, and then 10.30, and then 11, and then 11.30, and then 12, and then 12.30, and then 1, and then maybe 1.30. The last dream is my dream, and I want you guys to analyze it. Sean and Ren, who are these guys? We hope you're enjoying yourself at the last resort. Please let us know if you need anything. Okay. I need these gators to not attack me. Who's this? Amelia. Looks like an owl. Gah, how'd I get myself into this dump? It's just one thing after another this week. Okay, well, you're just a negative person, so I'm not talking to you. Bro, told me to wait here, but I don't know if he's coming back anytime soon. You know anyone called Mr. Jawson? Bro says he's got some business with him. I don't know Mr. Jawson. Now, this is, this is the test to see whether it is welcome to... Well... Whether Omocat is a Taylor Swift stan or whether it says welcome to black space. I'm gonna not get the N. I don't this is the first time I'm choosing not to get one because I don't wanna get hung. Hoffy, gotta take a break from the slots. My arms are starting to cramp up real bad. 
Who's this moon person? Goo man. Hey, you. You. Yeah, it's you there with the stoic expression. That's what you said to me last time. No, I don't trust you. The house always wins. I don't like this casino. Okay, okay. Well, I've got to talk to the boss somehow. I'm trying to avoid these uh, gators. Let's go this way. Perhaps if Omocat is Taylor Swift. That's what I'm seeing. You win some, you lose some. At least that's what one would expect. Not me, though. I just lose all the time. Are you the boss? You look like a boss. This joint just ain't cut out for folks like... Ain't cut out like these folks are making it out to be. I want my clams back, you hear? Who's this little bird? What? This place is the dumps. Okay, well, uh, I'm running away from that gator. Let's go. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 leave me alone. shoot you from here. Hmm. Yeah, this week we are sponsored by Taylor Swift. So I'm just going to keep saying blank space over and over again. Stream blank space. Stream blank space. Stream blank space. It's the song of the summer, 2021. Okay, all right, let's fight some gators. space and I'll write your name. Oh my, I'm, I might die. I might literally die. Um, I need hero. I don't have gators in my country. Gators in the uh, country that you live in. Okay, it's gonna die now. Okay, okay, let's run away, let's run away, let's run away. Let's run away, let's run away. Okay, level up, cool, but let's get the hell out of here. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Uh, oh, oh, I need to get past this guy. Okay, let's just, let's just sneak it this way. Oh, you're kidding me. What? Okay, 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 okay. Music is loud. Okay, let me turn it down. One second. How about now? Let's use some snacks. Uh, tofu. Oh, five hearts. That's nothing. Why did I buy all of those? S'mores. Use. Use. And then let's get some more juice. Are you kidding me? Uh, juice, juice. Who's gonna give me juice? Oh, the combo meal looks good. I need cherry soda for juice. Blurb, blurb. But I'm like really using up all of my items right now. Where's the bathroom? I need to go to the bathroom. Where's the bathroom? Kel, Kel, tell me where the bathroom is. Oh, who are you? 
I'm sick of slots, but there's not much else to do around here. I should just go back to the city. I agree, get out of here. Ugh, leave me alone. Look, 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 just, why isn't, isn't the bathroom up there? Mm, I'm trapped. <laughs> Please. Where is the bathroom? Maybe I can run. Yeah, let's do that. Don't keep me trapped, game. Okay. Oh, no, you're going to keep me trapped. I have to fight this guy. Okay, okay, okay. I can do it, I can do it. All right. Bathroom is underneath the elevators. All right, let's, let's hack away and let's ricochet. I want to take Kel to the bathroom as soon as possible. I don't want... And if he does, that's fine. But we'll clean it up. These gators are very annoying. Alright, there we go. Okay, okay. Bathroom time. Bathroom time. 20 minutes till the next dream. These dreams are... They're, they're tough. You guys are sending me some... Pure nonsense. But there's something in it. Oh, let's buy some stuff. Yes. Let's buy loads of these. Let's keep... Oh, everything's sold out. Let's buy whatever is in here. Okay. Now let's... Yes, thank you. Thank you for that. Game audio is still too loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. Uh, you? Or I say to you? Okay, here we are. Oh, there's a gator in here. Hold on, Omori. This will just take a minute. Don't go into the pee stall. Don't go to the pee stall. Ah, much better. You noticed Kel didn't wash his hands. That's okay. Can I just go in here anyway? Wait, wait, wait. Do I need pee? Welcome to... I do need P. <laughs> okay, P get. Let it be known, I need P. Should I talk to this? Oh, yeah, let's go in the hole as well. Four keys left. Woohoo. There's a hole here. Go into the hole. Let's go. I missed that. I was taking a drink. Oh no, I'm still here. Uh, uh, a videotape named Omori. Do you want to pick it up? Yes. Okay. Let's put it in. Let's see. Everybody's saying no. Okay. Well, that seemed um, significant, but uh, go on, Kel, just wash your hands. You made Kel wash his hands. Mm. I'm sure the other one was going to say Sunny or Callum or whatever, but I didn't pick it up. Maybe that means I stay in the dream world now. Oh, leave me alone. Okay, now can I go up here? Because I don't need the bathroom anymore. Oh, yay. Isn't this a cool elevator? It smells kind of like perfume and smoke. Oh, hi, Mary. Hello, you two. Let's see now. Oh, the other tape says Basil. Well, okay. <laughs> so if I got this straight, Aubrey is on the fifth floor. Yeah, Basil is still missing. But just watching a videotape isn't going to save Basil. Why isn't this working? Uh oh, we're trapped. 
Oh yeah, I totally forgot. We need a cool key card for this. They took mine away because I kept losing it. I swear they're disappearing on their own though. Let's try looking around the other floors for one. There's got to be a cool key card around here somewhere. Let's eat this raw seafood and save. Very good. Let's save because I'm scared of these gators. Okay, let's get the cool card. Cool card, where are you? It's on one of the other floors, maybe. What if I go in here? It's the exact same thing, right? Oh, no. Okay. Let's go to number two. Bum. Cool key card, are you here? No, it's just you. Marshmallow. Marshmallow something. Clean and a clean and a clean and a clean. Yep, I agree. Who are you? Have you got a cool key card? I want to give flowers to someone, but he's only interested in puzzles. If only I could find a flower puzzle or something. Maybe then he would notice me. Okay. Jogan. I'm the rock, paper, scissors champion. If you beat me at rock, paper, scissors, I will give you my entire life savings. Okay. What's the answer here? I think... So everyone starts with rock. Because everyone starts... Everyone always starts with rock. So you're implying rock from the get-go. And you go one, two, three. So everyone's default thought is that they need to fight against rock so you are uh, so everyone's going to go for paper but if you think that the other person is going to do this you're going to go for scissors so what i'm going to do is do whatever you guys say in the chat everybody what should i go for rock paper or scissors or what about nothing i'm seeing a lot of rock i'm seeing a lot of rock Someone's going to have to uh, convince me otherwise, or I'm just going for rock. Rock, 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 rock. Okay, it's going to be rock. Ready. And... What? A tie. Next time, I'll emerge victorious. Okay. Everyone always goes for rock. Oh, yeah. Okay, goodbye. Let's see what's in this room. Oh, this person looks depressed. That's unusual for this game. Oh, it's a doll. Uh, wh why would I throw it away? No. It doesn't belong to me. Stop. There's a better way. Finally, a safe and effective solution. It just makes sense. It even comes with a matching case. You can hardly call this work. Pick up that phone now. Okay. You guys want me to play again? Okay. Let's do paper. He always chooses rock, huh? Three, two, one. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Jogan, huh? So this is defeat. You have humbled me, challenger. As promised, you may take my entire life savings. It's gonna be like two clams. Haha, <laughs> three clams. That's generous. Okay. Uh, what's in here? Bangs. The boss tried to put me to use, but when he realized I couldn't do anything, he told me to be a bed tester. Mm. Yup, this bed sure feels good. What's this over here? Oh, cool key card. There we go. Let's go. Let's get to the fifth floor. This is going to be like a Final Fantasy VII Shinra building situation. Let's do it. If I could give him back his life savings, I would, but I don't want to. I do want to see what are on the other floors. So I've been to one and two. This is three. But if it's going to involve fighting, I'm, I'm running away. Ah, the same layout. Hello. Ah, the patrons at this place sure know how to make a mess. Having a job sure is tough, 
I hope Nose is doing okay without me. Oh, who are you? Barbara... Barbara Koa. Barbara Koa. Oh, my sweet sons are all so hard at work. You better not be causing them any trouble, or else I'll smack you all the way to tomorrow. She's scary. Ooh, life jam. This is going to be some life jam here. Clam coin, okay. Hey kids, I'm the life jam guy. I sell life jam, it really works. I will buy some life jam. You got life jam. Okay, it really works. Bye bye. I'm into this music. Wolf, honestly, I don't mind this place at all. It's not bad at all for being free. Even if the kiddie pool outside is haunted. So this is like a kind of a ship hotel. We decided to come here on our honeymoon because they offered a free room and luxury resort experience. Luxury my butt, this place is as shoddy as it gets. I can already see the paint coming off the walls. Let's get this watermelon. Oh my god, I've got a fedora. Well, let's put that on. Um, fedora. Yes, okay. Mr. Jawson pulls it off. Defense up, luck up. I'm putting it on. I don't really have a fedora around here. I have this. Okay. This is my I'm on holiday hat. Okay, my ladies. Let's go to the next floor. Has anyone had to go into a uh, quarantine hotel? I haven't been to a hotel in so long. And that's your only option right now. Who's been to a quarantine hotel here? Everyone's saying, someone says currently in one. I don't believe you for a second. Don't attack me, please don't attack me. Okay, let's go here. Oh, it's a ghost. Don't mind me. I'm just a lost floating moustache carrying about his day. Caring about his day? You gave me a spooky map to moustache. You... I, yeah, I gave him the map. Okay, that's good. Whoa, hold on a second. What do we have here? Directions to Top Hat's party. Well, gee, I'd better skedaddle. The party doesn't start until I arrive. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. I don't believe you. That's one ghost. Thank God for that. Let's go in here. Hmm. Some kind of battle zone. Whoa, who's that with a big statue? Let's eat something. Seven minutes till the next dream. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Hello, sculptor. Phew, I'm just about finished with our tribute to our employee of the century. Look at me making statues and stuff. Never thought I could actually do it, but the boss always believed in me. Oh, I'm going to be fighting a boss that is kind of hard soon. Okay, so maybe I should level up. Hero. This is a hero worshipping area. Are you the boss? Please don't be boss. Engineering. It's like a puzzle. And I love puzzles. Oh, you're the puzzle guy. Let's look at this. Blueprints for a 200-story skyscraper. Uh, what's in these lockers? No, nothing for me. Okay. Time to fight. Yeah, come fight me. Don't tell me you're the boss. Ah, uh, two of you. Well, let's hack. Let's rebound. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, take that. No, not two gators. Let's hack some more. Wait, 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 wait. Why did that happen so quickly? 
Oh, I guess I just attack everybody. Let's ricochet. Uh, this guy. Nah, that was okay. I'm just gonna try and get one of them gone. Ooh, don't get rough with me. Fancy ball trick. I need to do. I need to use one of my like power things, right? It's not giving me the power option, so I just need to do a normal attack for that to be engaged. Karate chop. Okay, let's do some normal attacks and see what happens. Yeah, here we go. Pass for Mori. The pass was successful. Boom, 124. And now I'm ecstatic, and that's killing. That wasn't the boss, though, was it? It can't be the boss. Please. Megaphone, what does that do? Uh, skills. Megaphone, let's look at that. I'm not crazy about flex, sorry. Makes all friends angry. Eh, I mean, that would make them more powerful, but. Okay, the boss is on the fifth floor. Maybe I should do a little bit of uh, grinding. No boss here. Hi, little brother. We're seeing a lot of each other lately, huh? Anyways, come sit. It's not like you to turn down a picnic. Someone says, what's the name of the hat you're wearing, Bowen? I would like to buy something like it for when I go on vacation someday in far future. I have no idea. Some kind of like farmer cowboy hat. And look there, you've got to admit, the view is pretty nice. It's not bad. Let's eat this baguette. Hmm. Yeah, straw hat. Type in straw hat and you can get this hat. Uh, let's go to some of the other, other places. Hello. So I bumped into mum on the way up here and she won't stop nagging me. Uh, wearing shades inside is bad for your eyes, she says. I can't take off these shades just like that. They're like a part of me. Man, mum's visiting again? She must be empty nesting hard. What? Mum's here. I gotta say, I gotta go say hi later. Okay. Mama's boys. Let's go in here. Oh, ball pit. Time to dive in. No, no. For the extra hard nights. But that looks fun. Boo, 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 boo. Two minutes till a dream. You're gonna like this next dream. Okay. We're on the fourth floor. I don't want to go to the fifth floor. I'm going to go basement. Yeehaw. Here we are. Hello, Blob. Burpmo. I'm Burpmo, and I wouldn't be anyone but me. Fair enough. Hello. You guys want to fight? Take it easy, we ain't gonna fight ya. At least not while we're off the clock. I got everyone pizza. Let's have some pizza. Mmm, pizza. Can I buy something from this vending machine? Yes. I'm getting all the soda I can. Is it sold out? Yes, I thought so. You don't want me to buy that many. Stonks are up. No more talk about stonks. No more NFT chat. None of this. Just life. 
and joy. Uh, what's this? Um, we ain't liable if anything goes missing in these lockers. So you can develop the use while the balls at home people. Okay. Um, okay. Well, let's just uh, get out of here. I need to fight some more. Oh, punching bag. What does that do? So let's go back to first floor. Stonks, 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 stonks. Everyone's buying the stonks.jpg NFT. Time to fight you. For the $30, Marty Morty, who says, You said not to tag you, but this is probably my last stream. Got to quarantine at a hotel before I board my ship. Just wanted to say I've enjoyed your streams very much. Looking forward to seeing them when I come back. Well, enjoy your trip on your ship, Marty Morty. And thank you for the $30. I'm going to spend them on stonks. I'm going to buy an NFT with them. Marty Morty, come on. Marty, Morty, Marty, Morty, Marty, Morty, Marty, Morty. Goodbye, Marty, Morty. Okay, fresh water in the basement lockers. I will go and get that. The fireplace, the fire is wet. Who's this hot dog guy? Hot dogs, get your hot dogs here. You'll never guess what my older brother does for his job. Try to guess. There's a big clue. Try to guess what my, uh, he's a hot dog, hot dog, hot dog stand. He sells luxury, indulgent, high quality hot dogs. Yep, you guys are right. I'm doing a, uh, I don't want to buy a hot dog, I'm fine. I'm doing, I'm doing the next dream analysis. Someone said janitor, he's not a janitor. Okay, dream number two. Are you ready for dream number two? We are heading off to the world of dreams. There we go. All right, now let's get rid of this old dream. This is very DIY. Goodbye images. Goodbye this. Goodbye that. Goodbye dream number one. He is a hot dog. Now, here we are. Dream number two. Okay. Dear Mr. Bowen, when I was younger, around five, I would dream about dating Luigi constantly. Almost every night when I went to bed, I would step into the world of Nintendo and all the Nintendo characters would be there to greet me, including Luigi. Now, Luigi and I never really did anything couple-like. We just held hands and I would have fun adventures with him and the other Nintendo characters. Also, sometimes we would have musical sequences it's strange because as an adult, I'm a lesbian in a long-term relationship with my wonderful girlfriend. What could this mean? Sincerely, Anonymous. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about this Luigi dream? I have an interpretation of this. But I want to see what you guys say. I mean, firstly, it's, it's an amazing dream. It's really funny. Someone says bye. I don't I don't think that's what the meaning of the dream is. Someone says it's just good taste. It means you like Nintendo, honey. <laughs> don't we all subconsciously want to date Luigi? Now, what someone says Luigi is hot, not going to lie. It means she has good taste in guys even as a lesbian. Well, what I think 
this dream is about. You, you really have to think about... Okay, look, firstly, let's get a picture up of Luigi. That's Luigi, right? This, this, this guy right here. That's Luigi as we kind of commonly know him. And sure, he's like the sidekick, he's Italian, like, eh, it's not bringing anything to mind. But think of this Luigi. This, this Luigi in his mansion, haunted and, um, you know, hoovering up ghosts. Luigi, to me, my analysis is that Luigi is this incredibly, um, he's an ally. He is an absolute king of an ally. And I think what I'm going to posit is that growing up, because um, this, this dreamer said that she was five when she was having these dreams. I think she was confused about her sexuality. And in a way, she had to mourn the death of the idea that she was going to be straight in this society where everybody assumes that there's this, there's this kind of heteronormative thing that you know society's expectations parents expectations your own expectations and discovering who she really was she had to mourn the death of that version of herself and that version can haunt you it could be something like a ghost and i'm going to posit that hand in hand with luigi in the other hand was a hoover hoovering up those ghosts saying you're not going to be haunted anymore i'm going to allow you to be exactly who you are and i'm just uh, just going to be the best ally that i can be and that's what i'm seeing in the dream so yeah i'm seeing lesbian protection squad in the chat and maybe luigi is no i, I don't read it like that all right there we go luigi is a king back to the game Okay, 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 okay. Let's get some water. There is no Luigi in Amori, unfortunately. It does make sense. Luigi in the chat. Luigi in the, in the chat. Luigi is my comfort character. I am a lesbian, says someone. Let's go to the basement. B1. B1, 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 B1. B. Omori is Luigi. I probably should have named Sunny Luigi. Hayden sends two Canadian dollars and says, search up the Kel nuke. It can do good damage. Uh, I don't have the nuke. Are you telling me to Google that? Is that some kind of move that I'll unlock at some point? So one of these lockers has water. Let's go through them. Oh, I just got it, maybe. I wasn't looking. I was looking at chat. <laughs> Everyone's saying they can't stop thinking about Luigi now. Luigi has haunted the stream. Someone needs to... We need some meta Luigi to hoover up Luigi's ghost. That gooey Oh, a fruit juice. That's nice. Uh, everyone's saying that the Kel Nuke is OP. Well... Let's see, shall we? Get the book. What what book? What book? Is there a book in here? Book, 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 book. I don't see a book. Where is the book? Oh, here's the book. Now I see a book. You found a poetry book. Cool, that's useful. Let's uh, move on. Thank you for liking my hat. So let's do some more fighting. And eat this, please. We just want to level up a little bit before we go to this boss. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, fight me. The L in LB LGBTQ stands for Luigi, apparently, according to Bawa Bawa. Okay, Gator Guy says, there's two of you now. Wait till the boss gets a load of this. Yeah, there's always been two of us. Let's just do some regular attacks and see how that goes. One oh four, not bad. I can take a hit. Yeah, 
has two attacks. Let's go. R.I.P. Gator. What is a comfort character, Retronical asked me. I don't know. I don't have a comfort character. I don't really know what one is. I'm assuming it's a character that um, makes you feel comfortable, makes you feel accepted, that you like being around, you know? Let's just do some more attacks. Everyone tell me who your comfort character is. Luigi cosplay next to I've already been to the bathroom, yep. Let's just heal up. Kill some more gators. When I got that Luigi dream, I like couldn't stop laughing. I don't laugh that easily. The title was like something like um, Dream of Dating Luigi or something like that. Like Luigi Dating Dream. And it got me instantly. Next dream is in... I can't do maths. 18 minutes. Someone says, a comfort character is, as the name would suggest, a character that brings you comfort. You might relate to them, enjoy their humor. Be happy that they're, be happy that they're so innocent. Anything. I see. Thanks for the explanation. Let's keep fighting, let's keep fighting. And then I'll be killing this big boss soon. Stoinky's comfort character is definitely Jack Black. He is quite a character. He do be good in School of Rock. Stop losing clams. Okay. I think I'm gonna level up soon. No? Come on, level up, level up, level up. Level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. You, you want to fight me? Yeah, come on. Us little troublemaker's gonna make some more trouble for you. Ricochet, hack away. Some people dream in black and white and some people dream in colour. And I feel like everyone is really shocked when they hear about the other one. What one are you? Write down in the chat. If you're black and white or colour. I don't really remember. I used to think I was black and white. I used to remember. But um, now I think it kind of changes. But I used to be like, yeah, I always dream in black and white. Because it was so abstract, it was just kind of this weird memory. Everyone's saying they dream in colour. I didn't used to dream in colour. There's not really like any colour. It's just like a weird kind of memory, right? And then when I look at it, when I like imagine it, it's just kind of in black and white, which is weird. Okay, I'll fight you. Okay, everybody is saying they dream in colour. Never, I've never heard of black and white, someone's saying. A lot of people are saying they don't even remember their dreams. If you write down your dreams, like there's this, there's this one moment just as you're waking up and you're like, yeah, I can still remember my dream, but I'm so can't be bothered to fucking write anything down. But you just have to do it. And like, once you just start doing that and start like logging them down, then they just like all come really quickly. You have like loads and loads. Yeah, 
Yeah, you need a dream journal. No tap is good. Okay, come on. Yeah, level up. There we go. Let's go to the... No, I'm not getting in. Let's go get some... Oh, leave me alone, guys. I'll fight you in a bit. I just need to get some health back. Yeah, I've seen a lot about LSD Dream Simulator and Yume Nikki. Neither of which I've played. Should I play them? I want to play this RPG called Moon. That is on the Switch now, but it's like some old game that's been re-released. Looks very cool. Does anyone know anything about Moon? Has anyone played Moon? M-O-O-N. Yay, 154 clans. 14 minutes till the next dream. This one won't be about Luigi, I promise. So, nobody's played Moon. Nobody's interested in Moon. Oh, someone says, I really want to play Moon because I watched someone stream it and it's amazing. Someone says, I don't know about Moon, but To the Moon is a beautiful RPG story game. I remember that, that was from like an indie game from like, I don't know, six or seven years ago. I remember seeing that around. I remember seeing the music with Laura Shikara, right? I remember that. I remember that. That's when I didn't have any kind of career and nobody knew who I was. Let's keep fighting. Fight me. Have you guys been in a physical fight before? <laughs> I'm getting so fight club with these guys, I'm just like enjoying the fight. I've never really been in like a serious physical altercation with anyone. But have you guys been in a fight? Do you, do you feel the joy of the fight? In a fight club way? Right now this is grind club. But no, I've not really like been in a physical fight much. I avoid conflict. I'm always remembering to remember the dig. I'll be digging soon. Wow, someone's had their nose broken before. That sounds awful. Oh, I've learned don't catch me. What does that do? Painful truth, I didn't even notice that either. Shun. What's don't catch me? That's a Kel thing, right? Kel, 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 can't catch me. Attracts attention and reduces all foes' hit rates. Is that good? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. I am gonna. I'm gonna get megaphone though. Uh, to make everyone angry and make them powerful. Are there more people to fight? Yeah, the Bowen versus Luigi fight is gonna be a hell of a match. Maybe I'll get to some point where I'm going to do like one of those boxing matches with like another streamer and get into some like big beef. Who do you guys think that I could beat in a boxing match who is also a streamer? Maybe I could beat Matt Watson. Oh no 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 I'm dead. Do you guys think that I could beat Matt Watson in a uh, fight? Oh wait, 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 wait! I'm getting, I'm getting hurt. Logan Paul. I think I could destroy Logan Paul for sure. Jack Septicai, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Saikuno. Well, no, none of these people want to fight me. I need to like insert myself into the scene. Some kid from a toy channel, I would never do that. <laughs> uh, corpse. Corpse is already dead. Do, 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 do. 
Every streamer is quaking at the thought of fighting Bowen. I'm like a, uh, I'm like a radical pacifist. I would never fight anyone. Maybe. Unless they dissed my channel. Unless they unsubscribed from me. Speaking of subscribers, we are well on our way to 100k. Wait, 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 not load, not load. Save, save, save. We're at like 82 or 83,000 right now. When I started streaming, we were at 60 something thousand. So that's 20k subscribers already in like one and a half months. So I'm very excited about the prospect of 100k. Um, so speaking of which, if you're not subscribed right now, you should subscribe because I, I'd be posting stuff in community. You'll always know when these streams are happening. Um, yeah, sub, 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 sub. And then I'll get that trophy. And I'll put it on my wall. Okay, I think I'm ready to uh, fight now. I think I'm ready to go to the uh, boss. God, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, 100k special. Actually, you know what? I do have... I do have an idea that would be great for 100k special. I want to do a, um, almost like a, it, w it wouldn't be a Mori, it would be like, basically like a D&D &D where I'm the dungeon master and the whole chat is like the, um, is, is, is a player. Or maybe I would fight Luigi live on stream. Um, yeah, I would want to do it where, uh, oh, someone sent me. $10.90 says, OMG, I love you. Can you say my name? It is Akira. Hi, Akira. Akira, Akira, Akira. Akira in the chat. Yeah, I would want to do like, I, I make a like adventure story up and maybe there'll be like some visuals and stuff that go on. And basically like, it's like the chat plays, like you've seen like Discord plays Amori or like, I remember seeing like Twitch plays Pokemon. The chat would make the decisions. And so I'd come up with it and I would basically do whatever, um, whatever I see the most of in chat. And so maybe it's like, you're in this room, you see this thing, you see that thing. Okay, what are you going to, what do you do with it? And it will basically be like a democracy, probably like an infuriating democracy rule. And I don't know if I'll go like hyper capitalist and be like, well, if you super chat, then I'll do what that is. But I don't want to like force people to do no donations and stuff, but maybe that would be cool. Um, but I might do that as a 100k special. But for now, I'm gonna go and fight this boss. No, 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 not there. Seven minutes until we do the next dream. All right, wish me luck. I'm a bit scared. Let's check that I've got everything in line. So I want to use megaphone so that I make us angry and then just like use all of my other cool moves that hurt a lot. Just like hack away, hack away, hack away, hack away. Hmm. This guy's really into sharks. Sir Dawson, 1920 something to 1915 something. Oh, uh, these are all of the uh, Lord Jawson. Professor Jawson. Dr. Jawson. What could the next one be? Boss Jawson or something. Oh, just Mr. Jawson. Born in the 80s. He's older than me. I'm respecting my elders. Oh, is it just this young fella? Uh, hello. Oh, that's Burley. Use flex for this fight. Oh, okay. Maybe I will put flex back onto my Kel. Well, 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 look who we have here. You trying to talk to the big boss, are you? Sorry to burst your bubble, but I can't just let anyone through here willy-nilly. Oh man, really? Come on, Burley, we've known each other forever. You can't do us a small little favor? Grumble, grumble. Sorry, Kel, it's the boss's orders. Today is a big day, so he doesn't want any disturbances. What big day? Is he getting married? We got a tofu fundraiser to prepare for tonight. But 
Bali, it's me, your old friend Kel. Me and you go way back. My birthday is the 26th of February, you missed it, it was a few weeks ago. There's a special birthday stream. Think of all our good times together. If I opened a P.O. box, would you guys send me stuff or nah? Because it costs loads of money, but maybe it would be worth it. Should I open a P.O. box? I mean, I feel like most of you are not in the UK. Hey, quit it. They made me head of security for a reason. But like people could send me fan art and stuff that I could like open on stream. People can send me Luigi. Someone said that they were going to send me spaghetti, so I'm still waiting for that. But I, I think you can still send to a PO box in another country, but it might just take a while. But I think, yeah, I'm, I really want some spaghetti, so please. Please send me to my PO box, please. <laughs> I'm hungry, okay? All right, they wanted someone tough. Someone who could make the hard decisions. A hard-headed person. Someone says they have a Luigi Hot Wheel Mario Kart thingy. I want that. Um, I mean, look at my badge. It's so shiny. Someone says, in before Bo starts receiving countless Luigis. It's either Luigi or spaghetti. I mean, they kind of go together. It could be a Luigi covered in spaghetti. Hmm, quick, Kel. Think of something fast. Oh, I know. Hey, Burley. Our good friend Amori here is interested in a job. You know the boss would never turn down free work. I'm not working for free. It's an internship. Hmm, that is true. But... Please, Burley. Please, 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 please. Ah, uh, Luigi flavoured spaghetti. That would be nice. Oh, all right. I'll let you through this time. But only if you get me some bottled water first. Mate, I've got the bottled water. Uh, well, let's give Kel flex. I mean, Michael. Mikael. I could probably get rid of... Maybe rebound. And get flex. And... I'm ready. I'm going to give you some water. This look is really making me feel like I'm in summer. I'm really excited for summer. For heat, for the sun, for light, for sitting in a park. All right, free pizza. Ugh, I hope there aren't any pineapples on it. Stop being so basic. Don't talk to me about pineapple on pizza. Luigi don't want to go to the UK. Luigi, I don't want to go to, I don't want to go the, the UK. Luigi, you've been sent. You have no option. Luigi, you must come. No, I don't want the queue. I don't want the queue. Just wait, let's see. Welcome to blank space. And I'll write your name. Um, okay, let's concierge. Let's go to concierge. Concierge. I've never been to a spring break. I feel like they sound kind of stressful. Scuba. Oh, I'm late for my payments again. Mr. Jawson's going to have my head on a stick. Woe is me. Woe is me. Oh, poor Scuba. Let's look after Scuba. Protect Scuba. Now, you look like you could be the boss, but I think you're just a big chicken. Touchdown. I hear Jawson has a new bodyguard who's real tough, but there's no way he's going to be a match for Touchdown. Well, why don't you come and fight with me, Touchdown? Honeydew. Boss called me up for an important meeting, but he's not available right now. I don't know. Should I wait here or keep working? I don't know. It's your life. Oh, it's Lego Sans again. It is not alive. R.I.P. Sans Ninjago. Connects Sans. Roblox Sans. Ah, oh, geez. Darville says, it's just got to be me who has to tell Jawson that another investor is backing out. It's not my fault. I think the stonks are going down. Who's this? Fred. I'm waiting here in order to conduct some important business. And then afterwards I'll conduct more important businesses. Uh, here we are. I see no boss. 
Oh, it's just Aubrey, my friend. Roblox Sands is a real thing. I've not played Roblox, I could play Roblox on stream. Hello, please hold. Hello, please hold. Hello, please hold. Aubrey, we're here to break you out. Dang it, Kel, go away. Can't you see I'm busy? Snap out of it, Aubrey. This isn't who you are. You know three people cancelled their meetings today. Three people. I'm supposed to reschedule them, but I don't even know how that's going to fit with all these useless events planned. Not to mention we have a fundraiser tonight. And of all things, it's a tofu fundraiser. Who in their right mind would pay clams for tofu? I tried, to t I tried telling the boss so many times, but he just won't listen. This is a complete nightmare. Okay, Aubrey, I'm going to need you to breathe. I'm breathing, Cal. I'm breathing just fine. Deep breaths, Aubrey, deep breaths. Hoo hee, hoo hee, you are not a secretary. Hoo hee, hoo. Basil is missing and we need to find him. Hoo hee, hoo hee. Thanks for reminding me. Hoo hee, hoo hee. Oh my goodness, that's right. How could I forget? We have to find Basil. Oh, Amori, is that you? Yeah, of course it's me. Who else do you think it is? You must be here to save me. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm so happy. Wait, 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 what about me? Omori, do you... Omori, you have to get me out of here. We can just leave, Aubrey. The exit is right there. It's not that simple, Kel. Kel, we signed contracts, remember? Oh boy. Who he, who he, who he. Aubrey. Aubrey, where have you been? I've been trying to get a hold of you for the past 10 seconds. How's that rescheduling going? Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Jawsome, something came up. Hi, Mr. Jawsome. Dang it, you again, Cal. I thought we sent you far, far away from here. Didn't I tell you not to leave your post? Well, I came all the way back to personally tell you that I quit and I'm bringing Aubrey with me. Very funny. My office, Cal. Now! I'll send him in right away. No, come on, join me for the fight. You too, Aubrey. Bzzzt. Who he? Dang it, Kel, you're gonna get me fired. I know, isn't it great? I'm yeah, doing you a favor. <sighs> come on, let's go. Mr. Jawson's office is right up this elevator. You know what? We've got a dream to do, so Mr. Jawson will have to wait. Into the dream world we go. No, not that dream world. All right, here we are. Now let's get rid of a certain somebody whose name I will not say because you guys will just keep typing it in chat if I do. And let's get rid of this dream. So the next dream, we, we've just got to, whew, let's who he and let's go to a new dimension right now. Here we go. I dreamt I was in a small cafe making small talk with the owner, a nice older lady. While helping with cleaning and stuff, I also played with her daughter, an adorable small child, and she seemed to be having fun. Eventually I decided to order some kind of dessert, but I just stared at the counter, paralyzed. I couldn't choose anything, so I didn't. That's when it gets interesting. A monk walks in, orders food and eats it. He was the stereotypical monk, wearing a cross and a brown robe. When he was leaving, I decided to give him my arm, as he was pretty old and could use my help crossing the street and such. While walking him to the church, he looked at me in a condescending way and told me, you will always only be at half peace. And that's when it ends. Does anyone have any thoughts other than Luigi? What are you thinking? There's a monk. A monk has come and said, you will always only be at half peace. What's going on here in this cafe and the indecision, what should I order at the small cafe? Rude monk, I'm seeing. What? That's so deep. Monks are cool. Maybe they're at half peace. Well, I mean, it. it I think it is what it is. It's a direct message. Um, Maybe you're missing something. What's happening? Half peace represents a state of unrest in this person's life. 
Well, what I think about this dream. Firstly, I'm taken aback by how the the dreamer is so nice, so inoffensive, so unthreatening. The small talk, going into the cafe, playing with a small child. Just, it's very like, um, where's the aggression? Where's any of the transgression? This is all just being very nice and being very likable. Um, and I think the, 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 the problem of that comes when there's no... Um, there's no real kind of like libido and drive towards what do I want? I could pick anything. I'm nice. I know what to do. Uh, I'll just do what people want from me. And I, I think the monk is a wise part of this dreamer who someone says the monk represents Luigi. It doesn't represent Luigi. The monk is coming in and let's think about a monk. What is a monk? A monk is somebody who takes, takes um, their own individual experience very seriously they're not someone who's trying to come across as nice trying to come across as inoffensive there's somebody who is um who's deep in contemplation and connection with themselves you know they'll go into meditation they'll have deep study they don't care about being judged by the wider society and i think that what this monk is trying to uh tell the dreamer is that that what you're missing is this real taking yourself seriously risking not always being nice and doing what you want appearing selfish and um i think that that's how you're going to get more peace in that you've you've withheld half of yourself um and i think this dream is trying to tell you that and you you got to follow the monk i mean you don't have to be religious i mean this person also emailed me their own analysis and it was basically what i'm saying right now um but I just think, yeah, it's an invitation. It's like, you know what? You're looking after everyone. You, you look after the, the small child. You look after the person who works in the cafe by making small talk with them because you think that they need that. And you go to try and help this monk. And he's like, I don't need your help. You know what? You, you would do more to help yourself. So this case is solved. Help yourself, dreamer, and you'll live a fantastic life. Let's go back to the game. Yeehaw, let's fight. What do you guys think? Was I right? Was I on the money? The monk... The monk just came in with some wisdom. Like, okay. Here you go. Who is this? I'm scared to do the fight. I'm in need of a fat stack of cash. I'm not giving it to you. What about this bumblebee? Mr. Jawson. That's a name that'll get everyone's attention around here. I hear he's the type that won't ever get his hands dirty. And I don't blame him for it. I'd do the same if I could get anything I wanted with a snap of my fingers. Hmm. I guess it's time to go to Mr. Jawson. Mr. Jawson time now. Oh, Lara R sends five pounds and says, Hi, Bowen. Just wanted to say, if you're enjoying if you're enjoying Omori, I'd totally recommend playing Rakuen. It's a similar sort of game, and it's really good. Okay, I will check that out. Oh, someone says they literally gave up on the Jawson battle. Uh, I'm afraid. Well, let's prep Aubrey. What does Aubrey need? Do I have all of my best weapons? Yes. Bubble wrap. What does bubble wrap do? Higher defense, I think that would be important. Um, what does punching bag do? Has a picture of Kel on it where it starts angry in battle. Well, I'm going to be using Kel's megaphone anyway. I think I can do this. I can do this. Um, well, that's going to get my defense even higher. So let's do that. Flashlight. And let's equip. Backpack is only defense plus two. There's got to be something better. This could, binoculars could be better. Bubble wrap is better. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I want Kel's, I want Kel's defense up. Uh, let's, let's go with the bubble wrap. And let's see what's Amori got. Well, if I take off the fedora, I have to take off um, this hat, so I'm not doing that. And this is Mr. Jawsome's. Is this Mr. Jawsome's fedora? Or it's just that he pulls one of these off pretty well. Let's leave it on. 
Okay. I think we can do this. Let's go. Let's take a swig of water. Someone says, don't take off the fedora. Okay. Let's heal up. Yes. Okay, let's save as well. Yes, let's save. I'm always so close to like actually just loading instead of saving. Let's look in here for now. A shelf full of various types of fruit juice. You got fruit juice. That's good. All right, here we go. Let's go to Mr. Jawsome's office. We've been summoned. Now, I've never had an office job, so I don't know what it's like to be summoned by the boss. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't like being in trouble. That's why I don't have a job. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What is this whistling? It's ominous. This is Jawsome time. Stop that. I can't whistle. Listen to this. My whistling is very bad. It's time for Jawsome. Seems like you guys can't whistle either. You guys are saying it's pretty good. You guys are very nice. Now look at this big old shark. Uh, this is really reminding me of like, what's that thing that's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shark on roller blades, toy. Yeah, this, I had this. These are oh, street sharks. Yeah, oh my God, wait, 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 wait. Just, just, just you wait till I save this image and put it into OBS. Bloody hell. Street, sh street sharks, but they got a job and they're in a suit. Let's whack it in here. Okay, there we go. That's what everyone wants to see. And there we go. Just sponsored by Street Sparks. Street sharks. I could try and get a sponsorship of um, ye old shoe street sharks. Okay, you're finally here. Do you guys know what I mean? Do you know what a street shark is? I was born in the year 1991 and uh, this was a toy I had when I was a kid. So maybe you guys never never got these. It's very cursed. But it's cool, they're on rollerblades and they have um, claws. Um, all right, kids, that was my comfort character. This is my comfort character right here. Um, all right, kids, let me lay this down for you. Yeah, Mr. Jawsome is real. This is the new Omori Morch. M Morch. This is the new Omori merch. Buy all the stonks, buy all the Morch. As the contract states here, you have agreed to work for me, for better or for worse, without pay, for the rest of your life. No. No. Now, a contract is a promise. And you wouldn't break a promise, would you? Would you? Or would you? Buy the Amori Mork. Shoot, he's right. We can't break a promise. What do we do, Aubrey? Stonch. Mr. Jawson, it's true that we did make a promise to you, but we also promised each other that we'd find our friend Basil together. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. That means you have to let us go. Hmm, I guess I can respect that. A promise is a promise. Aubrey, I'll let you leave. But you have to take Kel with you. Really? Wow. Thank you, Mr. Jawson. You're too kind. Awesome. Let's go. But, but, but what about me? Wait. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Yeah, me. Can we bring my brother Hero with us too? What about me? Amori. You really are a funny kid, Kel. 
You want me to give you Hero? That's rich. Rich, I tell you. Hero is fins down the best worker I've ever hired in my life. His very presence increases my work output by 700%. percent i will be a fool to let go of a worker like him. What about me? Hi, Hero. Hey, Mr. Jawsome. I just finished setting up the tofu fundraiser like you asked. The tables are set, the room is decorated, the toilets are clean, and the food tastes spectacular if I do say so myself. I also cleaned your windows, mopped your floors, floors, fed your pets, organised your sunglasses collection, and folded your laundry. Probably like collected all of his roller skates together as well. Oh, uh, I don't work there yet. I see. Yeah, there's a lot of interest in Mr. Jawson merch I'm seeing in the chat. Oh, and here's your coffee. Just thought you'd enjoy that. Hero be made in. Yep, it's true. <laughs> you see, kids? Amazing work, Hero. Just amazing. I might even consider paying you one of these days. <laughs> really? That would be an honor, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, hey, what are you guys doing here? Don't act like that. Are you looking for a job too? No, we're getting out of here. We're saving Basil. Let's go. Come on. You used to be poggers. Don't tell me that you even forgot about Basil. Hero. Oh, shoot. That's right. We need to find Basil. How could I forget something so important? What are we doing here? We've got to go right away. We've just got to go. Let's go. Whoa there, Hero. Not so fast. You've still got some unfinished work to do. You're supposed to usher in all of our VIPs for the fundraiser tonight. Mr. Jawsome, I'm sorry, but with all due respect, the tofu fundraiser can wait. Socks and Shoes sends £10 and says, <laughs> Thank you. Hmm, my feelings are hurt, Hero. You haven't forgotten about our contract, have you? Well, I... Ugh, forget the contracts. Basil needs us. We have to go, Hero. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Hero. Why would you? You didn't even sign a contract with her. I don't... Uh, <laughs> I don't listen to Aubrey because of a contract. I listen to her because she's my friend. I'm sorry, Mr. Jawson. My friends are more important than a measly piece of paper. Mic drop. Socks and shoes. Socks and shoes. Measly piece of paper. You disrespect me, boy. I take you in a young'un with no experience and I turn you into the ultimate employee. You would be nothing if it wasn't for me. Oh my god, this is doing my uh, throat in. Oh, no, 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 death. I'll teach you to respect your superiors. Here we go. Mm, cuphead. Do, 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 do. Boys, would you be so kind as to show these kids the way out? Okay, someone says I'm still stuck on this fight. So here we go. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to... Hack away. Uh, dum 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 digga dum dum dum. Power hit. Should I go for Mr. Jawsome? Or oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the guards first. I'm just gonna get these guys down. And then here we go, megaphone. Everyone's gonna be angry. I hope that that takes effect first. That would be good. Um, now what do we want to do? Let's smile and reduce Mr. Jawsome. I don't want him to be, like, attacking from behind. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Kel runs around, annoying everyone. Everyone feels angry. Here we go. Hack, 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 hack. Oh, I can't, I can't attack. I can't get any, uh, damage on Jawson. Oh, one of them down. Here we go. Oh, whoa, 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 they're back. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, he's just getting replaced with new ones. Um, 
Socks and Shoes sends five pounds and says, show this guy who's really boss. It's me. Okay, let's keep attacking. I'm going to keep going for the power. If I power hit Mr. Jo didn't I do that last time? Didn't it? I think it's it does hurt the others, right? Let me let me test that out. And then, then I'm going to flex and I'm going to get some nice food for my friend Kel. You have to get the gators down. Okay, I'm going to get the I'm going to get the gators down. Forty percent, seventy-five percent. Let's see, ten uh, of their heart. Acts first. Oh uh, no, let's do this. Okay, there we go. This is going to be a good round. When I flex, I feel my best. R.I.P. Gator guy. Ooh, leave hero alone. Okay, here we go. Yum yum yum. Time to bash you. You can call for. No 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 no. Wait 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 wait. Ooh, this isn't going well. Wait 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 wait. Ah oh, jeez. Wait 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 wait. Do I just have to keep attacking them? Let's hack away again. Let's let's just do an attack on Gator Guy. Uh, let's do some ricochet, or, or or maybe just a regular attack, and then I'll do the look at Amori, and then I need to do some. I need to cook for myself. Pass to Amori. Boom! 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 There we go. Now I can slash wildly at Jawson. Take that, take that. I'm the Gator guy who runs, who gets, who runs them out, gets, what? The Gator guy who runs them out gets free pizza on me. Okay. Attack up, that's good. And they are enraged. Oh, why am I ecstatic? Okay, okay. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. So I just need to get one of them out of the way and then attack the old... What's his name? Let's just see how this goes. There. For yourself again, please. Yeah. Yeah. How much, how much HP? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 hero. I haven't got any damage off this. Thank you for the five pounds, just ones and zeros, who says disrespect disrespect the stonks and you get the bonks. Okay, that was a big hit I got him. But I need to get my I need to get my dude back. What did I even hire you for? Oh okay, well I did it. There we go. Poor hero. No. That was a lot of XP. I found contract. Aubrey grew to level 21. Yay, at least I did it. That's good. Yeah, Hero was sucking up to that old gator, so maybe that's what he deserves. That's enough. Stand down, man. We're getting nowhere like this. Rest in spaghetti, never forgetty. That's what somebody says. Hmm, I gotta admit. You guys are pretty strong. I'm not going to lie. When they put on, like, in 20 years' time, they put on Amori the Musical, I do think they have to cast me as Mr. Jawsome. But that doesn't matter now. This is my audition. Hero. <laughs> oh, see, now I know it's my audition. I'm, I'm, I'm messing up, man. Hero isn't the only ultimate employee in my workforce. I have, but one other. You can come in now. Well... Now that um, I've defeated that street shark, I'm going to uh, remove this fella. Goodbye. Come on, Pluto. Pluto's, Pluto's my friend. Okay, Pluto, it's me, Kel. Don't you recognize us? We're your friends. Sorry, Cal. Wait, wait, how does Pluto sound? Uh, I'm just going to go normal. Sorry, Cal, this is nothing personal. It's just business. 
Let's see how you, let's see how you do against the strength of a former planet Pluto. Show this kid your true power. Oh, why am I fighting Pluto? I'm sorry, everyone. This is the end of the road for you. Okay, time to beat you. Oh my gosh. No. Pluto. I'm getting rid of the blanket. It's too much. Uh... Uh... No. What's happening? Sir? Oh. He big. Okay, well everyone's back to um... Behold, this is my final form. Can you... Feel the heat? Uh... <laughs> Um, okay. Well, let's just go for it. There's actually done for happy players. Yeah, Pluto is kind of hot. 12, attack, oh, becomes happy. That's, that's 12. Expanded, Pluto. Uh, I mean, what can you do? You can only flex on the flexor. Uh, no, I'm not attacking with you. Smile is my classic. Okay, let's see how this goes. Let's see how much HP I'm taking off. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Right in the heart. Boom. The magic number. Ow! Do not slap me. Impressive progress, young Kel. Your flex has improved greatly. I always, I always flex. I'd be practicing. Uh, let's do this. Let's. Three ricochet. And. Let's heal Aubrey. Yeah, take that. Let's attack again. One. And again. Pew pew. A 96. Yeah, take that. I'm gonna destroy Pluto. Gum 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 gum. Uh, let's just attack. Let's just attack. Let's just attack. Actually, I'm gonna megaphone. I'm gonna make everyone angry. And then, no, don't attack. You can smile again, I guess. Hey, 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 I'm gonna destroy you, Pluto. Now that I'm angry. Now I hack away with my anger. Attack. And let's just do regular attack. And cook for Aubrey. Why is Aubrey getting focused? I will single handedly destroy a planet. After this battle, we've got another dream. And so have I. Oh, I should make him sad, shouldn't I? No! Not the pecs. Oh, attack row, defense rows. I'm going to really need to uh, make him sad, aren't I? But I don't have any poems to read. Is it awful that I'm going to be doing a, um, a poem without reading a poem? Is that the worst thing in the world? Am I permitted? Chumbi sends $5 and says, You got this, PogChamp. Maybe I can find one on Google. Uh, we don't even need to heal anyone. Let's just keep smiling. You know what, I'll find, a, I'll find a poem. Okay, poetry book to use. Let's find a poem. Let's go there. We haven't been there for a while. 
it is the one, the only, the Poetry Corner. Short poem on Google. Let's find a short poem. Oh, even on Google Images, that's even better. Okay, let me read this one. Okay. No, that one sucks. This poem is called Pie in the Sky by Brian Bilston. He'd think about her constantly, well, 22-7, never completing. He even stopped eating. Then, one day, at 3.14, a chance meeting, but sadly, not repeating. That's probably my least favourite kind of poem. Um, I'm not here for the maths pun poem. I'm here for the emotions. Google has failed me. Dramatically. I'm very disappointed. Did I even make... Did I succeed in making Pluto sad? Pluto does look kind of sad. Let's get the chat open again. I hate that poem. Uh, uh, I think I can just keep attacking for now, right? Let's keep attacking. Attack. Attack. And Hero will give a snack. Uh, 75 will do. Let's attack again. 1, 2, 94. You're losing your juice, bro. What are you going to do without your juice? We're going to have a dream after this battle because we are now at 11 p.m. Okay, I am rocking this. Uh, I do want you to be okay though, Kel. Have a hot dog. And let's make hero attack, why not? Yup. Uh, attack, attack, attack. And we'll have some kind of attacking toy. Uh, nah. uh, let's do another poem. Let's do a poetry book again. Um, let's do another poem. Let's make him really sad. Unless he dies. No. Did I did I kill him? No. All right, we're using a poetry book again. Back to Google. Let's hear the short poem. This is by Atticus. She spent... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I haven't even gone to the poetry section. Here we go. She spent a life building walls, then sat there in her lonely, wondering why nothing grew. Back to the fight. That one was a bit better. Sat there in her lonely, wondering why nothing grew. She built those walls. Well, we're just destroying them now. We are too good for this. Sat there in her lonely. Mm. Even Hero is attacking. Oh, go on, slam into everyone, see if I care. You're not going to kill all of us, are you? Please don't kill us all. Okay, we're fine. Now I hack away. Attack, attack, attack. Boop, 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 boop. Take that. That's got to be you done. Hmm. Well done, children. You've come a long way. But, oh, my, my AirPods are out of battery. I need to change the headphones. And I can't wear a fedora and headphones. Where are my headphones? Here they are. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Fedora is gone. RIP Fedora. It was not a fedora. Straw hat is gone.
$19 Bowen poem. Who wants it? I don't know what that means. No, the hat. Yay, some leveling up. Huff, huff. You've all really gotten stronger. Huff. I'm so proud of you. But even still, I have a job to do and I plan on finishing it. Brace yourself, children. This is the definition of power. When I flex. No, no. I feel my burst. <laughs> no, not again. All right, all right. Break it up, break it up. All right, all right. Break it up, break it up. Ah, call it Pluto. I'm already losing one ultimate employee today. I don't want to lose two. But sir, if I but but sir, if I can defeat them, just give me a little more time. Don't sweat it, Pluto. I ain't risking any more assets today. You can't call him an asset. He puts the ass in asset. Well, Jawson. I just got an achievement. Who knows what it says? Just get out of here. You've been all you've all been nothing but a pain in my tail anyway. Thank you, sir. You won't regret this. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dot dot dot. There's really nothing I can do to get you to stay, huh? It's a pity. You could have reached your true potential here, kid. Mr. Jawsome, before we go, I just want to say that even after kidnapping all my friends and tricking us into signing an ambiguous contract, I sometimes still thought of you as a pretty decent guy. Hero, this might come as a surprise to you, but I always thought of you as the son I never had. I know you'll do great things out there. <laughs> now get lost already! Can't you see I'm busy? Thanks again, Mr. Jawson. All right, everyone. Now that we're... Oh, wait, this is Hero. All right, everyone. Now that we're all together again, we can continue our search for Basil. It's been a long journey, but I just know that we'll find him. As long as we don't give up. You're right, Hero. We're almost at the finish line. I can feel it. Wait for us, Basil. We'll find you in no time at all. <laughs> now that is the dedication I like to see. Go get him, you crazy kids. That's nice. Ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop -boop -boop -boop. We've got a dream to go through. No more Jawsome. Here we go. To the dream world. Not that dream world. This one. All right, let's get rid of the last dream. You remember that? The monk, the cafe. What was it? You will always only be at half peace. Well, goodbye. Dream number four. Dream number four. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to read this to you guys. Okay. So, a dream in particular that I always and up thinking, I always end up thinking about once or twice a month is this very weird dream I had when I was eight. I was in a big boat in the middle of the sea. The boat was almost empty. The only people there were my mum and some stranger who looked like he worked there or something. I then somehow slowly fall out of the boat into the sea. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I, I, not yet. I then somehow slowly fall out of the boat into the sea while my mum was just watching me. Heartless. Like she just doesn't even care or anything. And the stranger was gone. After that, I fell at the bottom of the ocean. But it wasn't very deep at all, so I climbed back to the boat just to see a bunch of clones of me just running around and also trying to get my mum's attention. I desperately cling to her and tell her that I was the real me, but despite everything, she still had no reaction to anything me or my clones did. And then, out of nowhere, the dream ends. Clones. 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 What are the clones doing here? This is a really sad dream. I mean, I feel like it doesn't take much interpreting. Um... But the reason why I put this tarot card here, which is the Six of Swords, is because the dream really reminded me 
of this, of this travel on a boat. So like typically what boats and the sea mean is like a travel through your unconscious into your emotional world that you might be cut off from. And a boat is a safe way to travel. I mean, it's, it's quite a scary idea to be right in the middle of the ocean. You can't see anything around. You can't see um, any islands or anything. So this, this person and their mom have been taken into the middle of this kind of like emotional world. And you'd hope that they would weather this journey together. But the dreamer falls out of the boat, even slowly. I mean, it's interesting that it's a slow fall and the dreamer's mom just just watches, which like, let's take that in. That's sad, isn't it? Um, you'd wish that the mom would grab the dreamer and say, hey, or even I'm going to go in with you. Let's go deep into the ocean and let's explore that together. Let me show you who I am. I want to know who you are. But, um, but no, that's not what happens. And the dreamer goes to the bottom of the ocean, comes back up, and it ends up all of these clones. So... I'm seeing these as the false self, all of these different false selves that the dreamer had to make in order to try and entertain, get the interest of, try to be accepted by um, their mom, their parental figures, the people around them. And now there's this kind of struggle where there's all of these clones and, and there's the real you, but nobody can tell who the real you is. It feels like a real struggle for authenticity. Um, but what I'm really struck by here is that you would only really have that authenticity if you had the proper mirroring by that parental figure who seemed to care about you and seemed to want to save you or at least go into that ocean with you. But um, I just think this dream is is just totally about a lack of mirroring and and how you can't go into your emotional depths if the people around you don't understand you and you haven't established that um, safe environment. Um, I think it's terrifying. I think that sounds really, sounds really scary. And I, I think the dream is kind of giving you like one, one option. Like, you know, this is, what, this is what would happen if you really investigated and went deep into your feelings without the proper support. Um, so I think, <laughs> I think that you should look up the Six of Swords because that's almost like the positive alternate reality of this dream, that tarot card and the readings that go into that. You're being ferried along with, I mean, even if you look at the card, it looks like a child and their mother. Um, so I think it's a warning. I think this dream is a warning and um, I wish you the best of luck. And there's no Luigi's in this dream. So let's get back in to the game. What does everyone think? Okay, let's go into the Pluto hole. I saw that the person whose dream that was was in the chat, so hi. I hope you don't feel really weird, me just telling you that about your life. But also, case solved. What does Pluto want to say? Ah, this is a surprise, children. Have you come to do battle with me again? <laughs> I understand you well. I'm still feeling the after effects of our heated battle. It was a memory I will cherish forever. You've all grown incredibly strong, but as with everything, there is still room to improve. Flex for me, Kel. Show me what I've taught you. Yes, sir, Pluto, sir. Hoo ha! Kel is ready for action. Now, who am I punching? No, I'm afraid you are mistaken. In this challenge, I won't be testing your power. I will be testing your endurance. No, no. Brace yourself, Kel. I won't be holding back. Are we battling again? Kel gained 50 hearts and lost a tooth. Yay, that's good. <laughs> the benefits of flexing. Well, time to go, kids. Let's get the hell out of here and find Basil. Probably like water the plants or something like that. Water the plants. Oh, okay.
Kel's not dead. Oh right, before I forget, Omori, take this. Mr. Jawsome gave it to me so I could get around last resort faster. Here I gave you VIP keycard. Wow. Do I want that? There, now all the elevators should run faster. Warning though, sometimes it gets bumpy. Does it just speed up the elevators? That's kind of a weird... A weird thing to do. You and your friends feel like new. Let's save. Yes. 22 hours in. I wonder how far we are from the end. Oh, it's you again. Let's go down. Wait, does that mean that I can actually go into this elevator now that I've got this VIP? Don't forget the plants, don't forget the dig. I know what you guys are like. Wait, let me put my AirPods into the uh, old charger. Well, that's one of them. Uh, where should we go? Where should we go? Concierge. Blum. Much faster. Oh, everyone's telling me to check the photo. Okay, let's check the photo. Let's see what everyone is on about. Dig the plants. I will definitely dig the plants. I'm glad I looked at that. It is quite cute. All right, let's keep going. Who are you? Are you going to sell me anything? Hi, I'm Mira. I'm new here. I feel sorry for you. Let's keep going. No, 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 I don't want that queue. Here we go, here we go. I can't run in this whole place. Okay, one. Floor numero uno. I will talk to Mary, why not? Poor sweet Mary. Um, I'm okay. I don't need a picnic. Let's sell a go. Ah. Okay. Woohoo, the gang is back. High five, everyone. You wish. So, does anyone remember how we ended up here? You know, I had the strangest dream. There we were, all of us falling down an endless black hole. And then, next thing I know, I'm signing my life away through a contract. You know what they say. It sure is strange when life takes you. So what are we doing again? We were looking for Basil or something, right? Yes, that's right, Cal. We were looking for Basil. Hmm. Basil could be somewhere in the last resort. No way, Basil wouldn't be caught dead here. Does he seem like the type of person who would enjoy this kind of thing? I don't think so. I don't know, does he? Why don't we just go around and ask anyone if they've seen him? Good thinking, Kel. Though I guess we are pretty far away from home. I don't think anyone here would know what he looks like. We can do a drawing. Drawing, drawing, drawing. Yes, why don't we all draw a picture of him? I hope I get to do this with my, like, uh, what are they called? Fingers. You two are full of good ideas today. That sounds like a plan. Cool, I'll start. Let's see your drawing. What is that? That looks nothing like Basil. Basil's hair is more like this. Should I do a drawing of Basil from memory? I'm going to do it. Okay, get ready. Oh, my pen's run out. Get ready for this. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Are you ready? Um, let's let me let me show it to you here. No, 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 not that. Let me let me. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? This is Basil. Look, I haven't seen Basil for a long time. I got the flowers, I got the hair, I got the ears, the chin, right? You see what I mean? <laughs> okay. I tried my hardest. Hmm, no, wait, that doesn't look right either. <laughs> A masterpiece truly, wonderful, those bangs. <laughs> I don't really got the chin, yeah. Uh, hey. What are you doing to my masterpiece? And when did Basil have such a big nose? Alrighty, let's see how we're doing. I want to compare their drawing to my drawing. Yeesh, is that really what Basil looks like? Ugh, I can't look. Hero, put the bad drawing in your pocket. Socks and shoes sends five pounds, thank you. Damn, Bo, art stream when? Mm, sometime soon. Maybe, maybe. Ah, well, that didn't go so well. Don't be so down, Aubrey. We can just look for Basil ourselves. Yeah, it'll be okay. There's plenty of places we haven't looked yet. Hmm, why don't we start searching around the deep well? You can get there pretty easy by taxi. There's always one in front of last resort. Okay, sounds like a good idea. Can I see this? Um, can I see the, uh, what's it called? Important. Bad drawing. Where are you? Bad drawing, please. Yes. I want to look. I want to look at you. Ah, uh, okay. So here we go. I think mine is better. What do you think? Mine is definitely better. I really need the toilet. You guys can look at that drawing. I'll be back in like two minutes. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. What did I miss? No more Basil. I have left the chat, but I'm back. Okay, five minutes away from the next dream. Let's, let's, let's talk to this person. Nose, nose goes. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's let's save up. I want to find Basil. Please let me find my Basil. My housemate was in the toilet, washing his clothes. Very unorthodox. I need the toilet right now. Let me in. So where's this taxi? Taxi, taxi, come on. 
Oh wait, now I've got Aubrey, I can bash this. Let's bash it in. Oh, thank God for that, some bottled water. Absolutely delicious. I got a beach ball. That's going to be for Kel. Let's see. I hope it's powerful. Oh, I've got a coconut as well. I didn't even know about that. 179 juice attack. Ooh, what should I go for? A juice increase or speed and attack increase? I mean, the speed and attack looks 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 better. I'm going to go... Wait, wait. I, so I think I'm going to... Oh, wait, coconut. Yeah, coconut is the best, I guess. Okay, let's move on. Well, let's get in there. Oh, wait, let's turn the music off. That's better. I hate music. You guys are saying the beach ball is better. Beach ball is better. <sighs> you guys are saying it's spooky mode. Thank God I turned all the lights out. And I've got this spooky candle. Oh, here we are. Did, uh, oh, have I turned off the music forever? <laughs> uh, I would like to talk to this gator. Hello, gator. Toll gator, you really have three friends? Hmm, all right, all right, let's move on, people. Oh, uh, what's over here, though? Huh? No, 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 I don't want to go there. Underwater highway. Okay. I'm too far away, I can't water the plants. I'm way too far away. Unless this will take me... This could take me back to the old... Okay, I'll take a little Pluto trip. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go water the plants. We'll do it. We will water the plants now. Greetings and welcome to Pluto Space Life. So we just want to go to... Digga, 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 vast forest, right? That's where the old the old plant. That's where the plants live. Yep, here we are. Goo 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 goo. Oh, this music. I haven't heard this music for so long. Hmm. No, they're wilting away. Oh, poor Basil. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I still don't know if this is directly... Um... If this is directly connected to... Well, it is directly connected to the characters in terms of giving me hearts right now, but I'm wondering if like there's like some element in the plot where if I water these, I'm keeping these people alive because I know that they all represent different characters. Let's see. But I know that they're all dream char Oh, I know they're all dream characters anyway. And I'm worried about their real life lives more than their dream lives. I mean, as we've seen, they are interlinked in today's dream special. But still. Hmm. Who's this one again? Okay. Plants watered. I should go back to Basil's house. I mean, I haven't even checked there for a while. Maybe Basil's just chilling at home. In the dream home. Let's water this lovely bush. I would love to have a garden with bushes like these. With these little, like, shrubby roses coming out. That would be a dream. Go on, hero. You heartthrob. Yeah, we can all just chill out to the music. Basil was at home the whole time. And we will confirm that soon. 
We're gonna go home. Basil's gonna be there. Feet up. Cooking lasagna for us. You'll see. This is like Minecraft. This is like Farmville. This is like every good game in the universe. This is like Warzone. Do you guys want to see me stream Warzone? Do you guys want to see me get really angry and die all the time? Would you get pleasure from that? I don't think, uh, I don't think you guys want to see me play Warzone. What games do you want to see me stream? Stream literally every game. Play Among Us. Among Us. Stream everything. Play Among Us. I could stream Among Us. Minecraft, Pikiniku. Not Among Us. Fortnite. I haven't played Fortnite for so long. Stardew Valley, Pokemon. No Amogas. Phasmophobia. I would like to play like a really terrifying horror game. Not saying that this isn't terrifying, but you know, like a viscerally like <laughs> where I've got like the torch and I'm like, Ugh. that would be fun. My computer's not very powerful though. Dun, dun. Undertale, Sims. Yakuza, Persona 3. Did somebody say Danganronpa? Danganronpa. I love Danganronpa. Ah, here again. Okay. I like this music in here. Dangan Romper. I might play Earthbound. Okay, well, Basil's not here making lasagna. Mother 3. That's an option. I do want to play Persona 5 a lot. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. You may Nikki. I don't know about Doki Doki Literature Club. I don't know about that. See me, I don't know about that. Bum, bum. Oh yeah, PT is scary. I played a demo of that. Okay, let's go back to wherever we were supposed to go. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? We've got to do a dream. Let's do a dream. Someone says Animal Crossing. Someone says play Snipper Clips. Um, let's do the next dream. Hopefully I pressed the right button. Yes, I did it. Okay. You remember this was the last dream? on the boat and all the clones clone wars what an emotional dream this next dream everybody refresh your brain this is a long one but this is quite a good one okay i was in this futuristic spaceship boom and the guards there were restraining a person with cuffs and guiding them off to somewhere i wasn't allowed to I remember the guy looking at me and his face displayed genuine fear. His nose was bleeding. I don't think it means much, but I looked like Lumin or Lumine from Genshin Impact. Boom. The person who accompanied me, I cannot remember how they looked like. 
I only remember that they were a boy around my age. I got told by an older woman that if I wanted to survive here, never to have a nosebleed because people who had nosebleeds were monsters and would be executed. So take that in. The spaceship suffered a malfunction and the electricity in the main offices and lounges went out while me and a group of people were just getting off from an elevator. However, when the electricity went out, I tried to look around but nobody was beside me. I got scared and pulled up a map out of, I believe, a phone-like device. It's very modern. And headed to the office, and headed up to the office where the higher people worked in. May I mention I was fucking zooming up the stairs and down the halls in pure fear because I'm afraid of the dark. It was dark, but it was illuminated by a few lights. A woman in blonde hair, a woman of blonde hair caught me by the shoulders before I could trip and fall and she seemed worried. After looking at my panicked state, she told me to try and calm down and tell her what happened. I did, and she told me to wait while they fixed it, that there was nothing to be afraid of. A few hours later, I was handcuffed along with the person that was always beside me. Uh, wait, here we go, here we go. I was handcuffed along with the person that was always beside me. I believe it was more of a lover than a sibling or a friend. We both had nosebleeds. We were going to be executed and I really can't remember the expression I had or what I felt during that time except fear. Raw fear. The type of fear you feel when you know you're not going to survive. Your time isn't up yet and you were going to be thrown away. Just like that. I don't remember what else happened, but I remember an older man practically going crazy, breaking out of the cuffs and injuring the guards before helping us. He was like us, but before I got, I could get answers, I woke up. What are you guys thinking? The society where you get executed for having a nosebleed. Natalie says, this is around a lack of trust, losing faith in what was believed to be a reputable system, maybe. Yeah, I think it's something along those lines. I think the main thing that I'm caught by is like, this is some harsh, inhumane, prison-like kind of outer space horrible landscape um i mean some people have dreams about being on a field with the sun coming down but this is kind of a brutal kind of a brutal place to be in and i think that that is where the um the dreamer's mindset is at what i find really um concerning is that having a nosebleed so just kind of you know any kind of natural reaction, vulnerability, showing weakness, having your insides come out, your blood, your life force being shown makes you a monster. So I think that this person is really self-controlled. There's a lot of rules about how they can't let things in. They have to hold things down. And it's like, you know, try and hold everything down. It might come out of your nose if you're, you're holding everything down so much. You know, words that you aren't saying, feelings that you can't accept. Um, I'm just I'm just so surprised by the the line that if you want to survive here never have a nosebleed and I think you can translate that into if you want to survive in this world you can't show your vulnerability you can't show your weakness um and that that's just all that I I I take from it I think that this is this is kind of a demonstration of the psyche in a very imaginative um setting but it's 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 a harsh prison-like setting and i think um you could definitely do with accepting your insides i mean this maybe this is going too far but um and i have no idea about the dreamer but maybe this is something to do with shame around starting a period that kind of bleeding um but i think you've got to accept your body and um I think this dream is 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 showing you is showing you kind of how harsh your inner reality is and and how critical you are of your body and of life force and instinct and all of these other things that you can't control with your intellect. So, that's what I make of the dream. I thought that was a funny dream. I don't know who that Genshin Impact person is, but um let's get back to the game. Bum, 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 bum. Here we are. Everyone's saying this is getting deep. 
Just you wait. Just you wait till my dream. You'll see how deep it gets. My dream is two dreams away. Two dreams away, oh baby, let's go to the deep well. I might read dreams again, yeah, because I've got so many of them. I also want to do the Bowen radio again, where people send me in their music and I choose it because I am running out of music. I even went to the extent of, um, of doing a karaoke thing today <laughs> and two songs that were from other games that I didn't even write, so... I'm going to do a call for music and a call for more dreams, maybe even a call for more poems. And I think we're going to have a very cool sponsor next week. I'm just in discussions with certain people. So look out for that next week. Okay, I'm in the deep well. What is in this deep well? Oh, my dear, my darling, my sweetheart. Hey, isn't that sweetheart? What's she doing here? Hey, sweetheart, remember us? We're the kids who almost ruined your wedding. What? You four again? Why do you keep showing up? So, how's married life treating you? Ha, married life is a joke. I ended relations with that pitiful excuse of a captain a long time ago. But... Your wedding was literally yesterday. Oh no. Does that mean you and Space Husband are... Hmm. He's Space Ex-Husband now for all I care. Oh, that poor guy. Alas, my journey has gone full circle. It is more obvious to me now than ever that my perfect suitor does not exist. Don't say that, sweetheart. I'm sure your soulmate is out there somewhere. I'm right here. Oh, my sweet hero. How long I've... How I've longed for your voice. But no, I must refrain. I've already decided my path. Searching for a suitor is much too old-fashioned for me. So I've decided that I will simply just make one. What? Make a suitor? Is that even possible? By regular people means no. But a wealthy person such as myself does not abide by such rules. I'm going someplace only filthy rich people like myself can afford. To a family of sea witches that specialise in clients with special demands. Toddle, toodle-loo, peasants. I'm late for my appointment. Okay. Hmm. So, should we follow her or what? No, we're going to the deep well. Yeah, we don't need to go there. Uh, you guys are very concerned about the train station. I can go back to the train station. Where is the train station? In the vast forest. Let's have a look and see what that is. I thought this was the train station. That's why I was like, oh, cool. Go to the train station. Okay, let me go back to vast forest. So which segment of it is? It is the train station in. Up, right, down, left. Vast forest. Here I go. Yes. You got it. Now, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Okay, okay, let's have a look. It's to the left. It's left. I don't even, yeah, really remember this uh, train station. Squawk. Let's see what's out here. Oh, can I, can I do something with this? Yes, new stuff. Uh, this is the pinwheel forest, right? I feel like there was a letter here that I didn't get yet. Oh, a bracelet. Leave me alone. In here? No, left and up. I will fight you. This should be easy. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that was quick. Wait, 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 wait. Mm. 
Doesn't help that the chat is behind. My Oh, train station. Here we are. We found it. Okay. Oh, bees. No. What's happened? Tata. We'll get up soon. Just give me a bit. Spelling bee. What? What? I. E. L. L. O. T. H. E. R. E. I. T. S. Y. O. U. A. G. A. I. N. H. O. W. H. A. V. E. Y. O. U. B. E. 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 Okay, I don't like talking to those. Leafy, you know what I hate more than anything else? Bunnies. That's right, bunnies. I just hate them so much. If I had one wish in the world, it would be destroy all of the world's bunnies. Hey, you look like you've defeated a few bunnies. Yeah, that's right. I can tell how many bunnies you've defeated just by looking at you. That's how much I hate bunnies. Okay. Say, tell you what. Let's make a deal. Sunny sends $5. Hey, Bowen, hope you remember the dig. I've actually forgotten the dig. Now go and destroy those bunnies. Okay. Popcorn, that's fun. Are you a boss? Gibbs, the stationary musician. Hi, kids. I'm Gibbs, the stationary musician. I used to be a traveling musician, but I left that life a long time ago. Would you be able to spare five clams? They would be a great help since I am completely stationary. Okay, I'll give you five clams. Thank you for your donation. Let me play the song of my people. Okay, let's listen. Gibbs Gibbs Slider. Okay. Wee 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 wee. Uh, yeah, it was okay. Oh, I, I think I've defeated enough bunnies to get a reward from you. I've killed 32 bunnies. Give me reward now. Cotton ball, thanks. Great. Is that for Kel? Oh, yeah. Bunny ears. Yay. Okay. Let's see if I can equip equip people with stuff. You guys said beach ball is the best. Okay, I'll go for that. So this boss must be around here somewhere, right? Are you boss? Lemonade. Lemon jash. I hate jash. Looks like we have run out of train passes, but we still have some lemonade left. Did you want to buy lemonade? Okay. Let's buy it. Okay. Oh, I guess I can just go up here. Get this. Stop right there! You can't pass without a... Whoa, that's a train pass. You must be the last passengers. We've been waiting for you for a very long time. Let's go. That's an all clear from me. Welcome aboard, patrons. Let's get on the train. This is a Final Fantasy VII moment. Look at you nobodies. Here is not home. What's this? Case for the crosses. Must be that monk. A bag for the berries. Case for the crystals. Case for the little bones. Case full of spider webs. A bag full of dirt. A case full of crosses. Oh, it's just repeating, is it? Oh no. The lights are going off. Ding dong. Just go for it. Do your worst. I can take it.
Are you trying to terrify me? Good luck. Yes. Come for me. Try your best. Where are you? I've got this. I beat Jawson. I can do anything. Oh. Okay. It's a hell of a long train. I see you. Hmm. This is creepy. I like how it's like a weird clay model or something. Afraid, are we? How do I make them not afraid? Let's try and make a friend happy. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, everyone's afraid other than Amori. I guess they're going to try and attack and see what happens. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Callum. What? Wait, you know? You know my name? You know my real name? Callum, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry too. I guess you're my friend. Honk, honk. Ladies and gents, we've arrived at our stop. Welcome to Orange Oas Oasis, where the moon shines brighter. Please exit the train in an orderly fashion. Your patronage... Thank you for your patronage, and please ride with us again. Bzzzt. Well, that was alarming. Oh, all of this toast. Can I at least take it? Hmm. Hmm. Dig incoming, I see. That's fun. <laughs> Oba! Cowblen. Ah, the weather's even hotter than before. What I would do for some hot weather. Blukey gets down easily, but he just needs someone to listen to sometimes. And that someone is me. Okay. Who are you? Hi, talk to me. Wizzy Whitney. Yeah, I'm pretty fast, but not as fast as a train. It's important to know your limits. I agree. Um, can I get out of here? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's up. I must go up. But what are you going to say, you big green thing? Guava. I was waiting for the train for so long. Chomp, chomp, chomp. What can I buy? Nothing. Canopy. I spy with my little liar rainbow umbrella thing with lots of legs. That's you. I've never been to this stop before. I can't wait to explore Orange Oasis, a land of possibilities. Orange Oasis. I'm kind of glad that for a uh, kind of desert... Oh, Dino's Dig, huh? <laughs> for a desert um, world, it doesn't have like typical desert music. They're like... Wow, wow, wow. Well, some kind of birthday desert cake. Vibe area. Dig, 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 dig. Who are you? Mimi. Wow, it's a big apple. Yeehaw. What would Frank Sinatra say? Oh, sorry, stream. Can I hop on you? Okay. Let's bounce. I want to bounce on you. Boing. Uh, hmm. I do need to find um, B-A-S-I-L. 
Yeehaw, who are you? A sand sculpture of a peculiar old geezer. Let's go back down. Ah, a desert with desserts. I do get it. B A S I L. B I B A S I L. I need to get Basil. So I fight these guys. Ooh. Pancakes on the head. These are cute. Yum, I want pancakes. I'm sad that Pancake Day is like one of the furthest away holidays in the world right now. I want pancake. I want pancake day every day. You know, I'm an adult. If I want a pancake, I could just make a pancake. I can make a pancake when this stream is over. Pancake or waffles? I love both. But pancakes have the, I mean, I don't know how to make waffles, so I only buy waffles, but pancakes have the added satisfaction of making them, which I enjoy a lot. Oh, hello, who are you, little worm? A croissant is upside down and struggling to flip over. Of course I will flip you. I think you will struggle either way. Thanks. Where are you going? Are you the dig? I'll always remember this croissant. Pancakes are definitely better. Pancake day, AKA Shrove Tuesday. Over Tuesday. Spaghetti or pancakes? I don't know. I would love some pancakes in my PO box. This is just grind mode right now. This music's cool. Shady Way says, I just got back from my walk. Did I miss any good dreams? Will you fill Shady Way in on the dreams that they have missed? There's been a few. Floating mirror. Genshin Impact, The Boat and the Clone Wars, um, Monk, I don't know if you saw Monk, Half Piece Monk. Where did you leave off? You must have heard Luigi. Sydney, a hamster with a fanny pack is essentially a small kangaroo. Here we are, we're at the dig, but what's this? Okay. Oh, I'm going to sell my wristwatch. Sell, sell, sell. Right after Monk. Yeah, you missed a few. Sell my watch. Where is my watch? Gold watch, gold watch, gold watch, gold watch. Gold watch, here it is. Sell. Yes. Let's buy some things as well. I've got so much money. I know that that's a spook if I keep looking at the mirror, but I don't think it's going to scare me. Oh, let's buy loads of pancakes. Yes. I don't even know what it does, but I'll buy it. Oh, this is fun too. Let's get two of those. I don't need more life jam. What is this? I miss the beach. I want to go to the beach. Used to make sandcastle sculptures with my parents at the beach. I love going in the sea. I like surfing. Okay. I knew I bought those tofu for a reason. Oh, it's definitely worth a uh, pizza. I'm going to stock up on things. This is the dig. Brighton Beach? No, thank you. That is full of pebbles. Let's go into the dig. Someone in the chat says something about do I mind backseat gaming? I don't really mind backseat gaming. I think if there's like little things that I've missed or that I should probably uh, look at, I appreciate it. But... 
Ultimately, I make my own decision at the end of the day with like big things. And I want to kind of just play it as if I'm, I don't really know anything. I don't want to, I don't want to like do the best version of the game or whatever. We are in the dig. All right, let's go. Welcome to Dino Shop. According to my log, it says you have a total of zero dino dollars. Let's get some dino dollars. If you want to buy a spoon, just point it out to me and I'll help you out. Uh, well, this looks like a spoon to me. I don't have any... I don't have any digs, nor do I have dino dollars. Okay. Well, let's go get some dino dollars. Huh. Are you a, are you a digger? You suggest I save first. Yeah, maybe I should save first. I'm going to go save. I'm alarmed. I'm scared. I might have had a little insider knowledge about what the dig is. Regarding the dig, the jig is up. I know what the dig is. I'm sorry to spoil. Everyone's fun. Let's uh, go here. I know about the dig. I'll remember it. That's all I'll say. It's brown sugar. Mmm, that is sweet. I will remember to stay hydrated. I will, 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 will save now. Okay. Now let's go and do some serious digging. I've never digged before in my life, aka dug. Not for treasure. Wow. Hey there, little adventurers! Welcome to Dino's Dig. I'm Dino, the founder of Dino's Dig. Um, are you hungry for treasure? Are you ready to have a spoonful of adventure? If so, you've come to the right place. Here at Dino's Dig, we've created the ultimate treasure hunting adventure, which you can experience for the low price of 100 clams. Okay. Dino-tastic. Okay, let's try and dig. Hello. All right, kiddos, first things first. Here at Dino's Digs, we dig with spoons. Since you don't have a spoon, I'll give you a potato spoon for free. You got a potato spoon. Excellent. Choose which spoon you'd like to use. Potato spoon. I've got five digs with this. Come on. Let's do it. There you go. Right on, brother. You're a quick learner, aren't you? In our special dig site, the Food Pyramid, you'll be able to uncover super rad treasure from all over the universe. And the best part is you get to keep anything you find. That's a dino guarantee. Rawr. Let me tell you about our dig site. The food pyramid has four levels. You'll always start on the first level, but if you're lucky, you might just find a pyramid key that unlocks the pyramid gate to the next level. The higher you go, the better the treasure will be. Now, here's the catch. Each spoon has a limited amount of uses before it breaks. For example, potato, bro blah, 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 blah. potato spoons will break after you dig five times. If your spoon breaks, the treasure hunt ends. The pyramid gates close and we will call you back to the entrance. Yes, I understand. Dino-tastic. And now it's time for our dino disclaimer. Treasure isn't the only thing you'll find in Food Pyramid. During your round, you might find some troublesome critters looking for a fight. We aren't liable for any damages to you or your property during your adventure. You dig? If a critter knocks you out during battle, it'll be a real game over. Well, that's pretty much it. And that's why we have to remember the dig. All right, let's do it. I don't want to talk to this dinosaur anymore. Um... Oh, leave me alone. I'm thinking this looks good. Dig. Hot dog. Okay. I'd like a key though. Or I'd like a better spoon. I don't wanna I don't wanna fight. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh, okay. I got this. Oh, this has pretty high defense. Okay, I thought this was going to be easy, but these enemies are quite hard. Oh god, yeah, I've got to really uh, let's 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 make myself sad and stab it. 
Uh, and you... Yes, ignore defense. And... Let's go for this ricochet. And why not smile? Go on, fancy ball trick. Oh, I need 52, 44. Ooh, 87. Oh, we've just done a poem. Let's go back to Google and see what other uh, excellent short poems there are. This next poem is by Dwayne Anderson. It's called Show and Tell. Show and Tell was held this morning, though this will be known to me that I was about to be the subject to be shown. My mother showed me off, her son from Nebraska, to all her friends at church. She was proud of her son, and I don't think I had given her any reason not to be proud, and I was just as proud that she was my mother. So there I was, being introduced again and again. As the church service began, I stepped off the pedestal. Alrighty. Maybe you have to live in Nebraska to get that one. Dum, 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 dum. These are some real Nebraska hours. I don't think this thing is really attacking me much. Okay. Oh, that's some good experience. Someone was saying I should grind here. Do you guys really want to watch me grind though? I don't think that sounds very fun. Can I dig this? No. There's so much bread here. What about this one? Hey, I found Hector. That's important. Oh. My amore. Oh, Hector. Could it be? It's really you. Come on, Hector. Back into my pocket you go. I forgot about Hector. It'll be just like old times. Ah, Kel, my old friend. I'm so sorry. I'm afraid things have changed and I can no longer accompany you. You see, I have a family now. Wait, Hector, C Hector Jr. What are you doing? Are you saying that you want to join them? That there's more to life than just staying here? Oh, Hector Jr., I, I understand you well. Even this old stone knew how to have fun once. May you all have memories, have memorable adventures together. Go on and join him, Hector Jr., into his pocket. You got Hector Jr. Thank goodness for that. Yeah, just like that. I guess this is farewell then. Thank you for never giving up on me. Giving up on finding me, Cal. Hector Jr., you'd be good, okay? Don't forget your family. We're always here for you. I hope that the next time we meet, you'll have flourished into a wonderful polished rock. This is sweet. Don't worry, Hector. I'll take good, hair of, good care of Hector Jr. I know you will, Cal. Just don't lose him this time, all right? I won't, I promise. So we dropped Hector when we climbed up a really, really big ladder. And we were like, we're going to find Hector. We're going to find Hector. And now we've got Hector Jr. I wonder if that does anything in game. If I get... Um, is, is Hector Jr. my weapon? Is that too harsh, throwing rocks? Equip Kel. Hector Jr., please, Hector Jr.? No. What about charm, Hector Jr.? Come on. Yes, there we are. Can talk, but is very shy. Stats increase with more energy. All right, let's do it. He's a charm. Well, he's very charming. Um, I've got a few more digs. Let's let's try this one. Oh, a dino dollar. Fantastic. What about you? Another dino dollar. And what about up here? Let's try this. This must be my last, maybe. Oh, I've got to go. Well, i got a few dino dollars. Big spoon down. That's game over. 
Did you find a lot of cool treasure? I hope you enjoyed your Dinotastic adventure. Um, are they just going to give me a free spoon every time I go in? Or do I need to buy a... Uh, do I need to buy something? Do I need to buy the spoon? I don't have that many dino dollars. How much is the cheapest spoon? Let's see. Does it mean that I keep... That I have to... Ooh, no, no, no. I can't buy that. Ten digs for free dino dollars. Okay. Alright, now I've got a plastic spoon. There we go. We're going to do it. This is great. We've got this. Alright, let's go back in. Okay, after this we'll do the next dream. Do I have to save it, Mary? I don't know. I don't want to go all the way there. Max Nitro says, First time watching Bowen's stream and I'm really enjoying the super comfy vibe here. I'm glad you're enjoying it and welcome. I'm glad you could tune in. Have a dino-tastic adventure. Okay, 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 okay. Let's try... Uh... Ooh, let's try this one. Dino dollar, great. Oh, okay. Ooh, two fellas. Well, let's hack away. Let's, 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 let's power hit. And let's uh, megaphone, make everyone angry, and smile. Smile at this guy, because I'm attacking the other one. Ooh, these guys hit hard. But I hit harder. Do a regular attack and then another regular attack. Get Kel to. Let's keep on ricocheting. Wait, wait, ricochet does that? Let's. Yeah, yeah, ricochet. I'm trying to take out the first snake. And who needs. Oh, no, no, no. I keep going back. I hate that. Let's uh, ricochet and then cook. Oh, Kel. I must have done that so many, uh, so many times in your youth cooking for Kel. Oh, Hero. Hero's taking a lot of damage. No, no. Oh my god. Okay, this is, this is concerning. Uh, I'm very concerned. We need to hit hard now. Okay, there's just one snake left. Okay, get furious, everyone. Angry, angry, ang angry. Doo, doo. Oh. Poor hero. Ooh, mash. Okay, well, let, let me just use some life jam. Do I need to lose? No, I don't need to lose use life jam now. I've got... I got snacks. Uh, I got so many chicken wings. Use one, two, three. That'll do. And let's let's also get our juice up a little. Where are some juice increasing items? Juice, 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 juice. Tasty soda. Let's use. Wonderful. Let's keep on digging. Oh, a chicken wing. Dino dollar. Popcorn. Run away, run away, run away. Uh, dino dollar. Is there any kind of method to this, or... Is it is it genuinely random? Other than the Hector Jr. situation, which seemed like that was always going to be in the top right. Well, I'm getting dollars. You're right, this is a gambling addiction. I don't know how many digs... Oh, that was my last dig. Oh no, no it wasn't. Come on, more dollars. Okay, I am rich. I am absolutely rich. Big spoon down, that's game over. Okay, let's do a dream. We are going into a dream. Which means I press 7. No, it means I press 0. 
and we need to get rid of the old dreams. Get out of here, prisoner. Get out of here, Genshin Impact. Get out of here, Stranger Things. Get out of here, Spaceship and this stream. Let's wipe that all clear. Okay. Next dream. Dream six. Let's read it. Oh, I like this dream. And this dream is kind of like um, consistent with one of the songs from the Bowen Radio from two weeks ago. Okay. The dream started with me having my usual daily wake-up routine. Brushing my teeth, washing my face, and feeding my dog, etc. While walking my dog back home, the environment suddenly turned to like a blizzard and very snowy. <laughs> Note, before this, it was a sunny day with a slight breeze. And then I just trucked through it and went home. But the home looked drastically different when I came in. But I didn't mind at all. The dream immediately puts... Uh, la, 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 la. What does it say? The, the dream immediately puts me in a later part of the day. I was going through the front door. I usually go through the back door and then walked to the right side of my home and saw a baby snowy owl. I touched the snowy owl and ruffled its feathers. It seemed to like it. But then I got worried that I may upset the mother owl. I ran off, but then somehow spiky tree seeds sweet gum tree seeds got into my mouth and like expanded in my mouth similar to when you bite into a cattail and somehow more was shoved into my mouth until I died I then reincarnated into like a weird kingdom place and I was the king slash queen I then helped a random gibbon type of ape by the way that's a this is a gibbon that's a gibbon there. It is a given that this is a gibbon. And remembered some random advice and gave the ape to a sanctuary slash conservation. Since it was hurt like it no longer had one of its limbs, so the gibbon became an animal ambassador. I then had some sort of parade in the kingdom because I did something great and wore a night outfit and was with my dog. The civilians were just random people I watched online and friends. Wait, let me turn the camera so that I'm actually in in the thing. Okay. What do you guys think? This is a big gibbon moment. There's a lot of um love for the uh for the, the gibbon appearance. So the dream starts and to me the first thing that happens is the blizzard. And it's almost like a dream within a dream moment. It's like you enter the dream and that wasn't enough. You're, you're walking around what seems like normal life, but then suddenly there's this blizzard and everything is kind of like, things have changed now that you're in a blizzard. And that's confirmed by going into the house and it looks drastically different. Your house has changed and homes always represent yourself in, in a dream. And so like, you know, the nature of the home, whether you recognize it or it's old or new. So what this shows to me is that the dreamer has been given a chance, almost like the beginning of, um, what's the movie that's like somewhere over the rainbow? It's Wizard of Oz, almost like Wizard of Oz. Yes, someone in the thing says, reminds me of Wizard of Oz. It's um, like this blizzard comes and it's like, okay, welcome to this new world. Um, so the dreamer goes into this new house where there's just a, a baby snowy a baby snowy owl or snow owl there, which I think is the I think that this baby snow owl, like any baby kind of thing, but also like an animal, is like this precious kind of thing that it's it, it's the opposite from your kind of intellectual, rigid, structured self in society. This is kind of like your natural self, the kind of thing that gets crushed by society, crushed by families, crushed by people that don't totally accept you. So I'm seeing this baby snow owl as like, this. You, you've just been given this chance in this alternate universe to access this, you know, the, the inner child and beyond that, the inner baby snow owl, if you can imagine that. So you touch it, but then there's the anxiety that the mother is gonna come and and attack you. And so you kind of ran off. And I think that was the downfall of this whole situation. That's when nature comes and attacks you and shoots all these spiky tree seeds, which I don't really understand the whole gum tree thing, but it all goes into your mouth and, and then you die. And I think 
That was test number one. Will you look after the baby snow owl? And in the end, you... Um, unfortunately, the dreamer let their kind of anxieties and fears get the better of them and didn't fully connect with their inner child at that moment. However, the dream was kind. The dream gave them a second chance. They reincarnated. But now we're not in this kind of cabin with the snow owl in this more natural setting. Now we're in this kind of... Um, we're in this king and queen, more, more hum, kind of human society set up with hierarchies and structures. And the next animal slash, you know, kind of instinctual part of the self that the dreamer is offered to heal is a gibbon. That if we think about kind of um, evolution, that's it's closer to humans. So it's kind of like the snow owl was like this deep, you know, very like far away connection. But now we've got something that we can kind of... Uh, someone says reject owl, return to gibbon. That's true. Um, so I think you've been given this kind of uh, easier challenge here. And you've been given the power of being a king and queen. Um, so it's like... Uh, and you succeed. You help the gibbon and you get the parade. But I have a feeling that there's something about the parade that feels a bit just uh, overdone. It's like... You didn't want everyone to celebrate you. Woo, woo, you saved the gibbon. You know, if anything, the connection to the um, the connection to the snowy owl, the connection to your child self, the connection to your instinctual self, to your natural self would have been even more powerful. But, you know, this dream was kind to you. And I think you, you must have come away from it feeling quite positive that at least you... Um, we're in this uh, kingdom and you saved a gibbon and made it an animal ambassador. So, in conclusion, <laughs> don't reject owl and uh, return to gibbon. Reject gibbon, return to owl. That is my, 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 my inner wisdom is telling you you'll have another chance to really engage with that. So, good luck. Let's go to the game again. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. I'm going to save and get some heals. Reject humanity. Return to owl. No, reject gibbon. I mean, except I think uh, embrace gibbon and embrace owl. But I see that dream as like it's kind of the same challenge twice. But in these kind of funny, funny settings. It seemed like a very like imaginative dreamer it's funny that you got reincarnated in your dream where is the picnic gibbon is still good no no bunnies oh yeah the picnic is up here isn't it no it's not is it uh picnic where are you oh someone says that the uh they tried to email me a dream but it said it wouldn't send to you um well, you can always send it to me on Twitter or on Instagram. I don't know why it wouldn't send, though. That's odd. Yes. I have another idea as well. I want to put out some Instagram filters that have, like, the, the, the layout thing. So, like, there could be, like, one filter that is like the top right corner or maybe like the poem corner thing like as a filter or le what else do I have some kind of Bowman's Ball thing or the Valentine's Day special one or the birthday special um, I'm just thinking it would be cool to like adapt that into some kind of like Instagram filter that people could use let's save what do you guys think should I do it should I make it happen That's a yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I'm going to try and make that happen. Let's do one more dig. And then, to be honest, I feel like I need to go back to the deep well. I need to chase down Basil. I need to make sure... Um, boo -da -boo -da -boom -boom. I need to make sure Basil's all right. Let's buy another. Do I have enough for a good spoon? Yeah, I've got enough. All right, let's 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 get digging. Wait, maybe I can buy also a more crappy spoon. Okay, 
Yes? Okay. This is going to be one hell of a dig. Dino dig is fun, yeah. Okay. Let's use wooden spoon. Oh, I can't use one in. I can't use two in one dig session. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, this won't be too hard just on its own. Do the thing that takes its defense away. Come on, good luck, Snakey. Okay, maybe I'll keep doing side quests for now. I mean, it's getting, it's half midnight for me. It's getting close to one, which is probably going to be my bedtime. So maybe the stream will be about digging. Maybe I will be archaeologist. Ross from France. What am I learning with Aubrey? Mash. If this skill defeats a foe, recover 100% of juice. That's kind of cool. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll get that. Okay. All right, here we go. You got a dino dollar, yay. Another dino dollar. The stream does appear to be all about the dig. Ramen, you shouldn't have. Chicken wing, bok bok. I'm mostly just wanting, oh, dino dollars and keys. Oh, there's two of them. Let's hack away. Let's do this new wind-up throw. Let's do my ricochet. And let's smile. Key is in a fixed location. Ooh, that's powerful. Let's just uh, do regular attacks now. Part two, Mori. You're gonna become a static. Yay, smiley. We will destroy you, SS Snake. Alright, here we go. I'm leveling up fast. Dig. Bread. No thank you, I want the dollars and the key. Chicken win. No thank you, I want the dollars and the key. Dino dollar, thank you. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm not fighting you. You're terrifying. Popcorn. Yeah, baby. I want to watch a movie. Oh. Has anyone here had the vaccine yet? The coronavirus vaccine. Either Pfizer or the other one. Oh, ancient code. What do you think the SS stands for in SS Snake? Uh, solid Snake Snake? Or Seriously Sneaky Snake? Oh, someone's had their first one. I haven't had it yet. Some of my friends have had it. My parents, I think, have had their first one. 
Yeah, it seems like people's parents are having it by now. So. Super strawberry snake. Strawberry short snake. Hey, someone's got it. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, this thing is tough. Let's power hit it. Snake. I always like to smile. I'm worried about telling you guys about my dream. So we've got one dream left, and then um, I have my dream to tell you guys. But my dream is not safe for work. And um, my dream is a non-fungible dream. It's uh, I'm 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 just a, I, I'm having regret about the dream that I planned. Maybe I should still tell you guys, but it's really um, we'll just see what you guys think. I'll I'll do it. I'll do it. It's not what you think. Let's just see. Yay, a dino dollar and another fight. Ooh, I've never seen this little, uh, this little cute guy before. Porcupi. Porcupi. Let's do something that attacks everyone. I oh, know, it just attacks that. What? Zero? Ten? No. Am I about to die? Oh god. Um. Porcupi. Porcupi. My dream is mildly, um, sexual, or it references sexual organs. It's kind of just a funny dream, really. Porcupine is such a tank. I'm going to kill the SS snake first. Ooh, 145. Bloody hell. Okay. Let's get, let's get me toys out. Let's do something that's going to... Uh... Oh, jeez. Uh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stab the snake. And then snack. Let's chuck a donut to Omori and you can cook for yourself my dude <laughs> let's look at Kel that's gonna make you angry we're both in rage now yeah I need to stab Porky Porcupine Oh, I don't have enough juice. Someone's gonna have to... Well, I wanna just kill this bloody snake first. Okay, R.I.P. snake. Oh, hey, that did something. These things hit hard. So let me give a juice increasing a juice increasing lemonade to my boy Amori. And cook for yourself, my dude. Oh five. Oh. I'm not gaming well. So now that I've got my juice, I can stab. And that will in ignore defense. And... Uh, let's see. I think my stab is just going to do it. Two. But that's supposed to ignore defense. Oh no, I have to be sad. Oh well, it's over now. I didn't like that porcupine. My porcupine was very... Um, 
terrifying for me. Okay, let's keep digging. A dino dollar you shouldn't have. A dino dollar you shouldn't have. But why can't I now use my next spoon? No, not game over. Hmm. Okay, well we're ready for the next dream. Let's dip into the next dream. Here we go. Not that. It's this. So we will now remove Gibbon, Owl, Parade, Kings and Queens and Blizzard. And now let's see this next dream. Now this next dream I I read through and I couldn't really quite make heads and tails of it. So I need your help on this one. So let me read this. Now the, the, um, the dreamer told me that it's important that we know that they're a cis male. So let's read this. I am a female receptionist at a funeral home. And people keep calling me to let me know that the funeral home is awful and the employees are whack. A lot of them are mentioning some organization with some three-letter acronym, acronym that I can't remember as a name that charges them exorbitant fees for minor services. It's a normal nine-to-five job, so I check out and then drive to my apartment. I never see any of the other employees for the entirety of the day. When I get there, there's a guy standing in the doorway and it's initially a bit scary. Then I get closer and it turns out that it's just a neighbor telling me that I forgot to lock my door. I forgot to lock my door. Afterwards, I spend the rest of the night playing harp. I don't play harp IRL, but I do play piano and guitar. I remember not feeling hungry and then going to sleep. The same thing happens for a week, but the neighbor doesn't show up again. Then the dream ends. What do you guys think? So I'm a female receptionist at a funeral home. And the funeral home is, is not doing well. Everybody hates it. The employees aren't there. And it seems like the dreamer is getting a lot of stick. Someone says the neighbor is dead. Um, I think... I think th th it's, it's getting kind of uh, complicated. But what I'm seeing here is... This dreamer works at a funeral home. So what is a funeral home? A funeral home is a place where people and things get put to rest. And I think the dreamer is, is heading towards dealing with the idea of death. Whether that's the death of a part of themselves, an old ideology, or whether that's just, just the, the fear of death itself. And I think their dream is allowing them only so close to that by being not only swapping their gender, being not, not working at the funeral home in any way that's dealing with dead bodies, but being a receptionist. But there's, there's a lot of loneliness in this. I think, I think there's a part of this person that maybe they identify as, maybe it's a foreign part to them, where they're like, um, which, which is being displayed by the fact that they've had this gender reversal. Um, and it could probably do with a lot of help from the other uh, employees. But it's alone, this part of them, that is trying to deal with difficult things. And, um, hmm, you see, I kind of get stuck. I, I, this one's kind of confusing. I, I feel like the whole neighbor thing with the um, coming home and then seeing, oh, I forgot to lock my door. It's kind of like being so focused on, um, so focused on this. It's like they're, 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 they're spread so thin because none of the employees are turning up. And it's like they have to deal with the stress of like, oh, this funeral home sucks. And um, like there's exorbitant fees for minor services. So I think they're getting a bad deal in life. That's what I would kind of translate that into. Um, I mean, forgetting to lock the door is kind of a vulnerability, like leaving your door open, somebody can come in. Thank God the neighbor's just like, oh, yeah, you know, you've, you've, you forgot to lock your door. There hasn't been some kind of invasion. But I think it's like, while this part of the dreamer is focusing so much on dealing with death, dealing with someone's death or something like that, they're forgetting things. They're forgetting to lock their door. They come home and they don't feel hungry, but they go to sleep. 
So think about that. It's like this part of them isn't even connected to a part of them that feels hunger, that's connected to it. It's almost like an angelic part with this harp. That's what I'm thinking, this kind of idealistic or angelic or religious part. Maybe this is a kind of religious part of them that has been very pushed away, but this dream gives them a chance to um, embody this kind of very, you know, it's this dis removed identity for them. Being this female receptionist that's so different from what their life is. So I'm I'm not I'm not fully sold on my interpretation of that, but I think I think basically what I'm struck by is the loneliness, and I think this person needs to not be so split and splintered. And okay, well here's this part of me that is working at the the, the funeral home, but there's all of these other bits that you know somebody could be cooking in in a, in a metaphorical way the um another part of this dreamer could be saying, hey, you, you seem hungry. Hey, you forgot to lock the door. Hey, all of this other thing, like kind of, that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling on this dream. And, and I hate that. I don't think the case is closed with this one. I hate that I can't quite pin this down and take it to court and say, we've bloody done it. We've solved the crime. But that is my interpretation of that dream back to the unforgettable the dig what do you guys think of that dream what are you thinking is the harp angelic let's see someone says there was a funeral home that had to get shut down because the bodies had dents in their heads because the forklift drivers were playing jenga with the coffins it might have been true i'm still accepting dreams um but I've, i got like 150 dreams and i chose like eight from just ones that um, I felt like, okay, I can make some sense of this. But send me your dreams, and I'll do this in the uh, next, in the next dream. Next stream. Burb says, I think it's an interesting dream reflecting their desire to escape. Do, 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 do. Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me heal up. Do, 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 do. Oh, I got the ancient code. Does that let me go through to the next dig section? How do I use the ancient code? I always don't know where Mary is. Over here, I think. Mary? Oh, it's just the sand playground. Where is Mary? Down here? No, you leave me alone. My mod says, I had a dream that involved you and Porter Robinson the other week. Maybe I should send it in. I think you should send it in. Definitely. Char is wrong said, I also had a dream about my cat who had the head of a cat, but the body of a muscular person with a large schlong. And he was chasing me around. I was scary. It was scary. Leech Boy Lychee gives me $5 and says, you're still live streaming. Hi. Hi, Leech Boy Lychee. Where is Mary? Where are you, Mary? Mary, please come back to me. You down here? Mary, Mary, Mary. Maria. I'm in love with a girl named Maria. Seriously though, where's Mary? Oh, someone had a dream that their cat was mangled up and wouldn't stop following them. That's horrible. Oh, here we are. Okay, yes. So I'll be stopping soon and I'm going to end. There's going to be no outro music. I'm just going to end on my dream. Because it's um, it's quite a statement, but I'll just leave it with you guys and see what you guys think about that. After I do a little more digging, and I'll be ending at the clock, striking the number a one. Let's keep digging. Get to the next dig zone. I've got the good spoon now. I'm ready. 
Let's dig. Inspect the ancient code. Is it too late? M.M. had a dream that their house was on fire and they were trapped in it. Dream Droplets had a dream where their mum put a jellyfish in a goldfish tank and their goldfish died. Okay, let's look at the ancient code. Ancient code, come on Da Vinci. Da Vinci? Now that looks like a piano. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That is, that is a piano, so. So if, so the note where it says one is G, Da Vinci. The note where it says two is A, three is B, and four is C. Am I getting this? Am I, am I on the right lines? Oh, I picked the wrong spoon. Da Vinci? Okay, so I have to, One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. G, A, B, C. That doesn't make any sense to me. So the ancient code. What does the ancient code do? Someone help me, help me, help me. Is that for in here? Let's keep digging. I see, it's just something I haven't seen yet. Oh, I got pyramid key. Yay. Hey, hey, leave me alone, leave me alone. Come on. How can I trick this? Yes, go away. Okay, I'm going up, I'm going up. Chukachoo, level two, baby. Let's do this. Key, 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 key. Oh. Uh, what is there to dig around here? Ah, there's the digs. Mango smoothie. I shouldn't have taken my plastic thingy here. I should have done it with my best spoon. Let's try and go far in the old. No, don't fight me, don't. Ah, oh, a fight, a fight, a fight. You ginger and some kind of leafy. Cilantro, huh? Let's attack, and then I'm gonna use a toy which makes everybody angry. Uh, not present. Air horn. Okay, let's do this. Don't get ecstatic because you're gonna get angry too. Wow, 287. No, the ginger took no damage. What? Okay. Well, let's kill the cilantro. How do I... I ooh. Oh, why are they so powerful? R.I.P. cilantro. I've just got to get its defense down. Zero. You kidding me? No, not toes. Okay, so, Amori's going to sad poem himself in preparation for a stab. We're going to use some life jam. It really works. Life jam, where are you? Okay, life jam. Uh, let's smile. Ring. Oh, we've read a poem. You know what that means. Let's go back to Google. Oh. Okay, this poem has, by Anonymous, it's just on Google Images. What is it like to be dead? Same as before you were born? No querulous, ravenous self. No ego to clamor and mourn. Yep. That's a poem. Let's get back. So now I'm sad. 
I should be able to break through your defenses. Smash through your defenses with this. Um, you just try your best, Kel. Uh, yeah, ricochet. And let's heal up Aubrey. Boom, boom, boom. It's a very sad poem. Why can't I attack this thing? The stab works. Does that work? Yeah, 98. That's something. And a yum, 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 yum. Ouch. Not hero. Okay, how am I doing on the... Uh... Okay, it's nearly dead. I just need to stab it again. These are tough enemies. Yay, I beat it. We be leveling up. Oh man, I got some new skills. Okay, I'm already got a new skill. I don't ever use mock, so let's see. Painful truth. Deals damage to a foe. Amori and the foe become sad. That's quite good. That's kind of a better version of sad poem, to be honest. Let's let's use that. And then mock, I still don't use that. So let's see. Uh, lucky slide. Shun. Deals damage if the foe is sad. Greatly reduce its... Deals damage if the foe is happy. Greatly reduces its speed. Reduces all of foe's stats. Okay, I'm getting that. That seems good. And then these... I mean, stab versus shun. Stab or shun? Hmm. R.I.P. Sad Poem. I mean, I can still buy poetry books and use them. It's the end of Poem Corner. I'm sorry. For now. What's Kel learn? Anything new? Rally. Kel becomes happy. Kel's friends recover some energy and juice. Sounds alright. Run and gun. Kel doesn't attack based on his speed. Can't catch me. Yeah. I'm happy with what I got. Let's see. I got share food. Hero and a friend recover some hearts. That sounds quite good. A foe targets hero for one chance. Uh, heals a friend's heart and juice. I think share food. Okay. Uh, let's do some digging. Dino pasta. Wow. Thanks for sending that to my PO box. Banana smoothie. Just send me, send me all the dino pasta in the world. A tomato you shouldn't have. Come on, I need some dollars though. Orange juice. I'm not getting as many dino dollars here, and I need dollars to buy the old spooge. Banana smoothie. Uh, where's my key? Give me a key. Come on, I can get to the next uh, level. It's got to be running out soon, right? Oh, another fight. Can I run? I don't want to do the fight. No, no, no. Just let me run. Ouch. Just let me... Let me yeah, there we go. I'm getting out of here. Tomato. Dino dollar. Okay, 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 okay. Let me just heal up over here. I like ginger. I like ginger and cilantro. I think they're both nice. Skill. Let's just do a bit of cooking. Hey, a good looking. What you got cooking? How about cooking up something nice for your friends? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Orange juice. And isn't this like the last one? Pyramid key, yeah, let's keep going. Let's go, let's go. Level three, level three, level three. <laughs> blum, 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 here we go. What's my favorite color? It is green. Oh, these are terrifying. I bet they're fast as well. Oh my God, they're so fast. They're running away from me though. <gasps> X, I don't want X. Welcome to blank space. Screw you, X. I didn't want that. Dino Jam. Yummy. 
Ah, I got to level 3. Okay. Well, that's it. Big spoon down. That's game over. Did you find a lot of cool treasure? I hope you enjoyed your Dinotastic adventure. Well, guys, it's five minutes till 1 a.m. And I think I'm going to read you my not safe for work dream. And then I'm going to dip. And I'm going to go to bed. So, let's save up. I'll prove it to you that I have saved. Let's see how many hours I've got in. Mary is here, of course. Aren't you? Wait, where are you? Uh, not this again. It's a me. Mary, where are you? Ah, uh, here you are. Okay. Ah, oh, well, a great stream. Great dreams. Send me your dreams. I might do another call out for... I know Poem Corner is kind of dead, but I've still got the poetry book and maybe I'll, maybe I'll put Sad Poem back in. I might do a call out for poems. I'm going to do a call out for songs again. And I'm going to keep accepting dreams and we'll do this again. And next week, I think we're going to have a very fun um, sponsor. So let's save up and then I'll show you my dream and dip. Save. How many hours is this? 23 hours, 46 minutes. All right. Well, thanks so much, everyone. And let's show you my dream. It's not this one. Let's get rid of this one. A dream that my parents revealed to me for the majority of my life. I've had fake balls and they took out my real ones because of a complication. I retorted, but why can I still come? These rubber things have come in them. That's the end of it. That's my dream. What do you guys think? Guys, you have to tell me what it means. That was my dream. That was just it. Like, um, it was a funny dream. A dream that my parents revealed to me that for the majority of my life, I've had fake balls and they took out my real ones because of a complication. I retorted, but why can I still come? These rubber things have come in them. Yeah. There we go. Someone said big pisser. You have quite an interesting mind. You're a cyborg. Maybe check. The dream tells me that you can turn fake things into real progress. That's so homoerotic, someone says. A complication. What is this dream? I really, I think this says a lot about the human condition. Some deep bodily shame. Yeah, maybe you're right. Well, guys, it's been amazing. Thanks for listening to my dream. I'm going to click the button that says stop streaming. If I can find out how. Here we go. We're going to end the stream. Thanks so much. Good night, everyone.